Oi, oi. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Flat Earth British, Martin Litka speaking on a wiggly flat firm's Easter flat day. Epicness. Let me just check my columns in order. And everything is a bit bored. Yay. And everything is a bit bored. Well, super fantastic. Great. Splendid. What, what? So... Happy Easter to you all. I'm doing that, not Easter, Easter. Feeling Eastery today. Got Easter bunny back at home in my lawn, in my son's flat. He's got his Easter bunny. So we're all set up for a, an Easter wiggly flat thumbs experience. We're going to have a, have a really good time. Tonight, we're going to have fun. Later on in the show, we got a new section I think you may enjoy. I've introduced this to my flat today night. And it is epic fails. I'm sure you're going to enjoy that. I guess some tissues ready for that because maybe crying, not in a bad way, in a good way. So that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to we're going to rejoice. We're going to be glad to be alive. We're going to be joining the epic ranks of Club Fuck It. Okay, <laughs> the Club Fuck It salute. Um, and not take life too seriously. But we have got some. Amazing juice in this post. Right the way through, there's going to be hundreds of images, lots to blow your mind. But the the good feeling is what is important in the show tonight, okay? And bringing the good vibrations. I was a little bit sad today because basically I'm supposed to be at this moment in time in a parallel universe. And if well, the universe would have permitted, but it was not meant to be for me to be presenting at this very moment or talking in Houston, Texas, where Archaix is talking. Um, but I couldn't get there because the whole of the universe conspired for me not to. So maybe next time. So um, instead, voila, the universe dictated this. So oh, it's going to be epic, okay? We're going to literally rule YouTube, okay? Fuck it all. From now on, from this moment on. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to be looking into is the City of London and one of the most famous iconic buildings in the British Empire, which is the Houses of Parliament, you know, with Big Bang, which is now Elizabeth Tower, previously St. Stephen's Tower, and the Palace of Westminster. Now, all of this is meant to have been destroyed in um, 1834. So I can appreciate there's no photographs of it burning down because apparently photographs are not around at that period. Only they just come along. Um, hi, hi, Brian Evans. Hi, everyone. I'm coming back now to give you all shots. Now. So then it's built through the uh, 1850s. Now, photographs has been around. So I'm just wondering what would possess them um, to miss out photograph in the building of the most iconic important building of the entire um, british empire in which the sun never sets by the way unless it does <laughs> um unless any debunkers out there which would be absolutely brilliant because then basically it wouldn't mangle my head so much thinking why aren't there any photographs you know this rich british history we got kind of missed the building of the houses of parliament uh, but there you go i've been searching for days can't find any i searched years ago as well couldn't find any then i still can't find any so if anyone you could find any pass them over okay pass them over i would love to see them hmm. Um, and we're going to look into the Bank of England, which is also um, eradicated. So um, the idea after what I presented, including the weird London Bridge story, because it, it's like, you know, the whole weird realm of just disappeared this bridge and made it appear again in Arizona in the desert. See, I can't get my head around taking a part of brick at a time and then shipping it off to the other side of the world, you know, fucking Arizona. Oh, I, I, I've been through Arizona uh, last year. Um, believe you me, it's a long fucking way away from London. So I just, just does my head in. So we're going to look at that later. Um, because it would appear that um, a lot of London, um, or most iconic um, buildings, seem to have been eradicated or destroyed um, around the 1830s. So is it possible that, you know, um, outside of the narratives and the information they give us, 
um, there was some sort of reset in the early 1800s. Probably wasn't there. So that's what we're going to look at. <laughs> Loads of interesting stuff. We're going to think about stars, pretty stars in the sky. That's what we're going to think about. We're going to think about loads i've got shit tons to actually share but i don't think we're going to have all of that time to share it all out but i'll get what get what i can through okay in the time permitted but i would stick around for funnies later and the epic fail section because it is absolutely fantastic <laughs> so what's happening 16 pavlov good to see you happy happy buzzes to you my friend listen listen i 179 of you just showed up. I have instructed everybody in my community page to wear happy hats today. Because London is the theme today and the British Empire, I'm going to be a British Bobby, okay? And this is like iconic British Bobby, some, something you can trust and ask advice. Hello there. How can I help you, sir? Because they're always willing to help you and give you advice and help you help you on your path, the great British Bobby. That's one thing we have got. And they haven't got machine guns at all or anything like that, not in Britain. Anyway, later on, we're going to look at loads of different pictures from history. And a weird-ass Bible that I found is just total carnage because basically the nature of religion anyway. Um, probably Florence because they're beautiful. Um, and Dubrovnik, if I can get her in, because I've been there myself and it was very beautiful. Um, before it was bombed in the Serbian, in the war in Serbia, uh, Croatia, the war. So, um, yeah, we're going to look into all of that. But the funnies is, is my main emphasis of today. So let's give you all a shout. We'll find out what's going on. Godlike Productions. Yeah, cool. Big fan myself. Gian, good to see you. Just clocking in. Okay, well, just... In your own time, okay. I'm just not going to hurry and marry you today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna calm down and chillax. Um, that's much better. Okay, Matt, good to see you. Cheryl Bailey, Cheryl Bailey in the house. I wrote a song. I wrote a song for you. I wrote a song. It went like that. Brian Evans, who's also I'm. Live and direct from Kyra in Cardiff in South Wales. Uh, it's far more exo exotic than it sounds. Keep, keep telling them that. Okay. Hippie Shea, good to see you. And Alva Billy, my brother. And Joe is in the house as well, who is my friend. And Jeff Free Johnson. Good to see you, Jeffrey. <clears throat> oh, to be free, to be free. Uh, there's my son, Louis Lancelitica, and oh, you got there, Pat Pip and John Wick. Wait, two two chats at the same time, bouncing around. Hi, John Wick. Okay, uh, that means that I am too. No, I'm not. Not now, I ain't. Anyway, okay, good to see you. Because that would be difficult to do and to present and everything. So, um, when am I coming back to America? Well, I can't at the moment because basically life has conspired that i got to do other things and I'm not, I'm not all that well either i'm in like pain problems and stuff <coughs> but um i'm hoping hoping uh one day soon sometime there's things ongoing and i will share with you all in the near future and you will see the epic things that will be excited good so panda good to see you <laughs> okay uh john levy younger look like john levy look like a little bit like young stalin he does he does he does john levy looks like a young stalin not that there's any similarity between the personality of john levy and stalin because that is not true mind you Stalin might have been lovely. It might have been all lies. You know, it's all fucking narratives in AI anyway, isn't it? You know, AI, we're AI, so it doesn't even matter. But at the end of the day, you know, it's all bad press. And they say a lot of bad press about a lot of people. But you've got to think where's the information coming from. And all this Western thing, well, they're really Nazi themselves, aren't they? So, key finder, it's difficult to believe anything. <clears throat> you may not have killed anyone. You might have, like, literally broke a toenail or something on somebody one day yeah but actually no we probably killed tens of thousands millions 
New West Reset, good to see you, my friend. Thank you for popping by and bringing the good vibration. So, I've learned a lot about myself in the last year or so. Well, I've, one thing I have found that I overlooked a part of my personality and didn't really, until I looked at it, like, I've been, you know, somebody brought it to my attention and then looked at it existentially. It was like, oh, yeah, that's totally been happening all my life. And it's this. It's that if you were in my company or in my world, so to speak, you ain't going to be able to hide shit from me. <laughs> All your shit will come up. And you won't even be able to help it. Um, it's like a purification process, if you like. It's more, more like a cleansing. Help, help you along with that good positive energy. That shit's been going on a long while. So that's probably a superpower. Yeah, that's a superpower ability. Okay. And I don't even need to to hold me because my power is strong in this place how strong well that remains to be seen doesn't it i think i'm something in this and i do i think i do a good job i do try <laughs> yay tuscan uh tucson tucson arizona yeah 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 so yeah, we're, that bridge is um, just nuts. It's, why would they even take it down and just take it off? So there is a narrative out there, actually, that the Americans got skanked and they thought they were buying Tower Bridge, which is the bridge with the bastions that lift up and down the old Gothic bridge. That's, they're denying that. They're saying, if you look in Wikipedia, they're saying, no, we didn't. We knew what that fucker was. It's like, well, you bought the shit bridge instead of the good funky one. I'm not so sure if that's... I think they just wiggling out of it and saying, no, we were, we didn't buy that. We didn't get skanked. So I think, I think you fucking did. Good old fashioned British rip off. Yeah. We invented all that. Yeah. With the masters, we, we've been doing this for a lot longer. We've got, we've got it down. Okay. It's like all of that shit was invented here. Martin, is that Martin in Holland? Which love? It's got Martin. It's like Martin, but in Dutch. Oh, that's really good. I know Dutch swear word. I do. I always say that, don't I? Can I say it? Go on, it's not too bad. Hoffadonna. Put it right now. So, um, are we feeling East Eastery today? Like Easter eggs and Easter bunnies and stuff. Fuck yeah, I am. I'm going to go for it. I don't even care. Yeah, today Jesus is real. Today, yeah, he did all. What happened anyway? Good Friday, yeah, if Jesus did come back and he's like, yeah, well, what, what day is it today? You're celebrating what, exactly? It's like we're celebrating, like, your crucifixion. You celebrate, it's why it's called Good Friday. See, I don't, I don't get that. I don't get that. So, rising after three days, okay, it could be the sun that we're talking about, and I don't really, really care. What's for today, for today, it's going to be all about that, Okay. Yeah, fuck it, fuck it. Why not, man? It's my show. So there's Ma Marlene, or Marianne, excuse me. Um, I've got, like, I've got, like, dyslexia issues, among others. Um, but we overcome. You know, I'm a dyslexic author. I was in the Merchant Navy for years. I can't swim at fucking all. But actually, I didn't intend on falling in, because, obviously, if you fall in anywhere, you're dead. It's rubbish of this. They give you a little bag of dye. Yeah, and a whistle. So you're blowing a whistle in the middle of the Atlantic fucking ocean. And whoopie do. That's going to really help, isn't it? Mind you, these days they got GPS and shit on the old uh, life jackets. They got it down. Times change. Okay, so what's going on? So yeah, it, shit just comes. You shit just comes up. It's just weird. It is. It's just. And I'm like, you know, why is this person going to fucking pieces on my ass? So, oh yeah, confession. <laughs> Hidden in plain sight, feeling a little better. Good. Well, we're having a little giggle today, all right, guys. Yeah, because it's, it's it's we're gonna have a little like, Easter party thing going on, or that sort of atmosphere. We haven't got any crackers because they don't do crackers at Easter. I don't know what they do. Easter eggs sounds like something to do with spring. Chickens being born, brilliant. I'm into all that. I like things like nature and trees, okay? Me, 
I like the simple things in life. I like trees and nature and horses and things like that. And over like wealths of life that don't give me shit like that. I like that because it's all free and it's all beautiful. So that's what I like. Benjamin, the awesome, oh, fuck me. I just saved my, my computer from doing a weird one. Eh? The awesomeness, ooh, that is nature. Who said it was? They'll say, oh, it's terrible, yeah. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. Just go up the countryside. It can't be far from wherever you live. Yeah, it's uh, sacrificing children Easter. It may be, Jeffrey, but again, my friend, it's all just narratives, isn't it? And Ishtar sounds a bit like Ishtar, ta. Um, yeah, well, that's all their death cult, isn't it? And all of that. But we can have, like, or make an excuse like the rest of humanity. I actually did get christened. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I got christened when I was eight year old. Um, Father Morgan of the Resurrection Church. I was obviously a little bit big to go in the font or be picked up. But I remember him doing like a cross on my head with holy water. And I remember thinking, oh, I hope that don't start burning. <laughs> <laughs> my mother thought it'd be a good idea because she, she thought I was basically, I was very reckless and she thought I was going to die and go to hell because uh, she thought I was very wicked. So she had me christened. And did it work? Yeah, I'm cured. <laughs> no eating yellow. Oh, show starting. I thought it was some snow eating advice. So yeah, you get some snow up north. Oh, shit. And it springs on the way, though. Um, is Easter have anything to do with Easter? Yeah, it is today. Okay. Because I'm making it all up. It's Easter tomorrow, Eric. And don't even worry. I'll just drop all that anyway. Happy Flatter Day. Happy Wiggly Flums Flatter Day, okay? You just need a theme for a show, don't you? And because coincidentally, it's a religious festival. There'll be no sacrificing on any, any animal's hand in this production, okay? It'll be very tasteful. Okay, we're getting stuck into some juice. First of all, Oh, okay, Manny. Okay. I was only doing it for five minutes. It's over with now. Okay, I've had my Easter thing. Did I enjoy it? Yeah, it was all right. While it lasted. It's like for Christmas and it's over like a flash in a pan. Doesn't matter. Anyway. Hi, JT. <laughs> I am Mo. Thanks, thanks for the tip-offs, bro. And Claire. God, you've been with me some years, haven't you, you guys? Claire. Oh, I'm, I'm Bo. Claire. Claire Boyd, coffee. Get your, get your coffees in. Get your relaxy stuff. Get your um, big bunny rabbit slippers. If you've got big bunny rabbit slippers, that would be good. But he's stubborn, isn't it? So. Yeah, is risen. Have ham had boiled eggs. Yes. Praise it, AI. Sort it fucking out. Okay. Damn. So it's not, it's not good. It's a fucking psycho and it tells lies. Fucking hell. I had a terrible time just before um, I went live with Alexa again, going all weird on me. I'm not sure whether she secretly likes me, you know, Alexa, or she just got like, she just goes all fucking psycho all the time. Make shit up. Um, I'm drinking my coffee. Um, I'm wondering if I cut down on coffee, how would it affect my physiology? Because like, proper hyper and i get a lot how, how would i be without coffee hangry i'm not willing to experiment maybe one day i'll just take a few hours off coffee and see what it goes down i can't imagine it going down very well though <laughs> okay get over it it's easter we're pretending it's easter for today okay it's the day that we start spring it's the real new year happy happy new year is that better? Happy wiggly, wiggly flat firm New Year to you all. Son of Overbrook, good to see you, my brother. And Helen. Hi, Helen G. And DJ Splash. Very Phoenician. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, whip crack away. We get mama's back. JT, good to see you. One of the greatest lyrics in music, Devo. Gian, good to see you. 
East Tar, yay, exactly, yay, I said that, I said that, thanks, Dallas Fowler's in the house, okay, yeah, there's a big ugly splatter in there, I'm sure this, I don't know, Ryan's indoctrinated, of like, you know, the, the, they got like this death cult going on, and all of this thing, like, uh, heinous crimes of, um, well, sacrificing people and all of that, um, well, I've been around a long time. I've been around some right fucking nutters in my time, guys. I don't know of anyone who've known anyone who've known anyone that's known anyone involved in anything like that. I'm just wondering if it's just on the internet because, you know, I've been around a while. You know, I just don't know of anyone or anyone who knows anyone. So I'm just wondering if it's all bullshit. Yeah, it's bullshit. It's just narratives, isn't it? Scare people, you know, angels and demons and... Uh, and it gets the religion, you know, coming into it then for control mechanism. So, but it's good you got like guidebook so you don't like be naughty because that's what a Bible is, isn't it? It's a guidebook, isn't it? It's a guidebook for how to behave in this place and set the whole things full of like wicked things, crimes and shit, crazy stuff like Cain and Abel and all of that. It's like, fuck me, it's all murder and fucking all sorts of things going down in, in the Bible. So it's not a really a good book. I think a better book if is, um, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. There's great advice in there. Last page, right? Uh, if Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy it says that everything is going to be all right. Okay, as long as you carry a towel with you, all will go well. Okay? And they built two Earths instead of one. Why build one when you can build two? Hmm. <clears throat> so do you think the elites really dig bunkers and hide out? Is there any evidence of any of that happening? Well, if they're digging bunkers and shit, that means they can't get out of here, can they? Can't, well, can they? I, I was sort of juggling the thought of, well, maybe it was just like the snow thawed and let an opening through into the outer worlds in so-called Antarctica. Um, quite recently, it's probably why uh, Patriarch Krill and Senator Kelly and all the rest, the soldier, went down to have a look at. Uh, maybe it's a it's a nice way through to the other worlds that weren't open previously. Um, and maybe they all go there. But I think it's all bullshit. I'm not sure any of these fuckers even exist. Hollywood, Hollywood, the whole thing. Um, it's just bullshit, isn't it? And do I even care? No, not really. I don't give a fuck. That's just me. Keeps people busy, though. Things to talk about. Okay, bonjour, just came from our cake. Bonjour, I'm supposed to be there, but I'm not. So I'm in two places, really. I'm there in spirit, because people like literally, somebody sent me an email, said they were really looking forward to meeting me in Houston tomorrow. I was like, mm -hmm. maybe you should just check on the scene, see if I was actually going. So that was like, ouch. So, yeah, it is on toast, uh, Mo Samson. Fuck yeah, <laughs> on toast. We ain't doing that year, bro. Fuck no. Buster. No, man. We're going to break the matrix. We're going to... I'm going to thing, which AI doesn't understand. So I'm going to keep saying thing and other words that it doesn't understand. There you are. Matt, it's new. I'm the one. Say Matty. Am I the one? I don't know. There's a lot of, there's a lot of contenders to say they're the one as well. So we'll have to see. But again, all in the fullness of time. Uh -huh. so, oh, hang on. Drum roll for... For Matty is being so. Let's get into some juice. First of all, I'm going to show you, and I will link here. Uh, um, make sure to sh uh, share this out if you would this video because it's Easter. I'm sure there's loads of people just hanging around, sitting there, clicking through their channels, picking their nose, wondering what they're going to be doing. Yeah, so bring them on over. It'll be fucking awesome. Okay, we're going to start here with a, oh, uh, excuse me, with um, an awesome map of London. This is a fantastic little map, this, and this is a fantastic little atlas, but it gives you an idea of London. Now, it wasn't at this stage of, like, you know, coming up to, well, it's actually coming up to the 1800s, it was like 1760s, but this is a, a, a Van der Haar, which was done previous to that, but not released until later, um, but 1733. So this was to become, apparently, 
the biggest city in the world after ancient Rome was London. And there's not much happening south of the river, Suffolk, Suffolk, or the Americans would say something different. But this part, this village here, this bit here is Westminster. And as you can see, it was on the very edges of there's Westminster Abbey, and this was all apparently Parliament, famous for uh, the apparent uh, bomb plot by Guy Fawkes, who was going to blow this sky high. But coincidentally, um, he didn't do it. And also, in the fire of 1666 that took out all of London totally missed the Houses of Parliament. But there was an earlier one um, in the early English Civil War, that little fire, apparently gutted it out. And then, apparently, they built this one, we'll look into in a minute, that you all know with Big Ben. And it's one of the most iconic buildings. I find it difficult to believe there's no photographs of it being built, but maybe somebody will come along and prove me wrong. So at this period, there's only one major bridge across the Thames, and it is the old London Bridge with all of the buildings on top. This thing was apparently taken down um, and disappears by this year. Um, you're going to hear a lot of, of 1834, uh, around that period that the uh, House of Parliament decided to burn down. This bridge disappears as well, but they don't say it dies in a fire. OK, um, and then the London Bridge, which is now in Arizona, um, in, in the early 1800s, 1830s, was built in this place, the one that is in Arizona, which we'll look at in a little while. But this had all buildings. You've all seen the old uh, Tower of London. So let's have a little uh, flick through this. This is a, it's fully, oh, excuse me, let me just show you that image at the bottom. It's fully Phoenician sort of coded. You can see all of the, oh, I guess, in dragons. Um, and this thing here, um, I don't know what it looks like, maybe a little star folk, but Hampton Court, which I've always been suspicious about many of the old British buildings. That's in like, in a red brick, which is saying is from like 1500. So, bird's eye view outside of London. And one thing you will see is William Shakespeare's Globe, which apparently... His theatre is here somewhere, if I can find it, was taken down and moved overnight across the river and rebuilt on the northern side. But here's the old London Bridge, look, all in buildings. That disappears and then it gets replaced by the London Bridge that we see in Arizona in 1830s. Same time as the House of Parliament disappears, same time as the Bank of England disappear, it disappears. It's just all very coincidental. I'm really in the opinion if there was uh, some sort of major reset prior to that. There is, I believe, the Globe. Uh, unfortunate name for uh, Will Shakespeare's thing. There's Whitehall and there's the Tower of London, which is a Norman Tower, they say. Although I have seen a coin um, with um, Constantine the Great, the Roman, on there. Um, not with my own eyes on YouTube. With that in the background, yeah, which is not proving, you know, that this is a, a supposed to be a norm, a thousand year old Norman uh, tower keep, which we've got one off in Cardiff as well. Very similar, but ruined. This one's been upkeeped. That there is Traitor's Gate. Um, you can't see that from the river in the modern day. You can see it another gate that takes you through to Traitor's Gate. So the story of Traitor's Gate is basically um, if you've like been done for like trees and they take you through there into the Tower of London and then you end up in the dungeon and all manner of Spanish Inquisition-y type things will happen to you. And then you've got this giant column which has a door in the top, a staircase going down, and a door at the bottom from the old age of Tartaria. And these massive stately homes, which are all over London. 
these look like bells don't they there and there so i'll be able to share this uh with you and i think we'll refer back but what i wanted to show you is it shows you the original uh st paul's cathedral um and the later one so apparently excuse me 1666 or it says 666 fire doesn't say 1666 there it says the feud feud or fire oh yeah there's a little i at the beginning 1666 isn't that an interesting number so this thing was completely destroyed and then sir christopher wren as you know resurgi from the flames the old narrative for the new St. Paul's Cathedral that we see there today, okay, which is this one. And that one is apparently 1666. And then if this replaced it, apparently, and engravings, do they make it true? Well, not sure. Yeah, I can knock up engravings, probably, probably answer a lot of questions. Why the sophistication and the amount of, um, detail in some of these so that's the old gate we're going to have a look at some images uh, i'm going to whip through in a little while and temple bar which is a roman gate and they say that some of the streets in the center of london and the west end are on exactly the same tracks as londinium the london city that was there probably prior to a reset right Right, we're going to get back to that in a minute and move on. Now, so the Great Fire of 1834, and apparently um, the burning of the Houses of Parliament, what destroyed the Palace of Westminster. On the 16th of October 1834, a devastating fire broke out in the Palace after two underfloor stoves used to burn the exchequer's stockpiles of old tally sticks ignited panelling in the lord's chamber well that's pretty fucking specific for 1834 consider you got all in details but you can slot us a couple of photographs of it being built it's just narratives again destruction and fire so yeah it disappears okay the old houses of parliament um if i just refer back i can show you what they apparently look like in this lead van der Haar atlas the palace of westminster and these are probably the most detailed i can find or would be able to find of that so there is westminster hall apparently this is the thing that burnt down in uh, 34 okay and then a lazy ruin and the whole thing looks like a bit of rome i'll show you some of the paintings of that that they show you westminster abbey it's got no roads, nothing leading up to it. And the Isle of Westminster, because Westminster was an island. I'll show you a map that will show you that in a minute. And apparently all of this year was all burnt down, apart from this chapel here and um, a little bit of the palace survived. The rest incinerated and only pictures to support that. OK, so the devastating fire. Okay, let me just move some of these images. So this is uh, London Bridge. Uh, it's not. It's the next bridge down from uh, Westminster Bridge. And as you can see, um, it's really busy. It's quite a sturdy structure. But one thing you can find is apparently they closed this, kept the, all of this traffic active on a um, temporary uh, bridge, and then took this apart one stone at a time, numbered them, shipped it, all the way okay to arizona so what it did land in san francisco on a big ship get on a train or a massive train to ship this entire bridge to arizona why is my head having trouble um thinking that that's real because that just sounds like nuts <laughs> so this is the Isle of Westminster in the medieval period. As you can see, it's got rivers down the side and rivers at the back, which have all been, you know, uh, backfilled and a part of the city now. And there's the Palace of Westminster where all the kings have to be uh, kinged 
and West, oh, no, Westminster Abbey, yeah. And there's Westminster Hall and the Jewel Tower. And all of this apparently doesn't exist anymore. It's all gone and was rebuilt in a period that photographs existed, but they can't show us any, which is really weird. Maybe somebody could shed some light on that because it's weird. There it all is burning down. A painting and a graving, that's all they've got, makes it real. And there's that London Bridge. Look at this thing. Can't believe they took that on. It said it was dated. It's like, well, you only put it up in 1830s. It's only been stood there. Well, they took it down in the 1970s, apparently. More recent than you think. So there's the next bridge up. This is Westminster Bridge and all of this beautiful facade. And it is quite awe-inspiring to see the size of um, what's called St. Stephen's Tower. Now it's called um, Elizabeth I Tower after the Queen. It's massive. It's like... It's like a big, it's the big empire's penis in the middle of London saying, we fucking rule the world, Joe. Well, maybe we did then, but we don't know. There's five bells inside, the biggest of which is Big Ben. Okay, it's got a big dong on it. <laughs> dong. <laughs> see, we got a big, see, we got a bell dong. Yeah, we should have. Okay, we go. Four, yeah, bell, yeah. Oh, that's not right. And there's other smaller bells as well. So it's like it's like 180 ton, and they littered it right in the time when there's like only horse and carriage. They get the bell there, maybe on the back of a horse and cart, and then they had the biggest crane in the world to lift it up into here, and then build all the housing around in the roof on top because you wouldn't be able to lift it up the insides of the tower. Um, again, big mysteries. How did this shit even happen? I think this building was like there already. And there's lots of sinister stuff to go with spies. There's, a, there's a, actually a door um, down the steps. If you go over down the steps here, there's a door in the side. And James Bond went in it in a movie and was like, fuck, I know that door. But it's never open. Um, yeah, so you've got New Scotland Yard. You've got St. Stephen's Club. And by there, right by there, there's a shitty little cafe with dirty cups. The politicians uh, drinking. They come out of there and they go in a shitty, scummy cafe for some reason. They don't like it posh. They like to rough it. They don't rough it with the commoners. Maybe they cleaned it up. This was years ago. It's probably all cleaned up. Now they cleaned everything up. They? And the site of the Grand Old Opera House and New Scotland Yard, which is, which is these. Hello, hello, hello. How are we having none of that? You're all fucking nicked. Yeah, you're all fucking nicked. I am arresting you all for being happy. Wipe that fucking smile off your face. Have you been taking drugs? Well, there must be a reason you're happy. This place sucks. Huh? I'm not happy. Do I look happy? No, because I've got a tit on my head, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah, there's a, a weird thing about this bridge as well. More... Phallic symbolism. So there's the army. We just won the war. Woohoo! Yeah. Apparently, we never lost a war. And we march all our soldiers, shoulders, soul shoulders, <laughs> soldiers, um, across Westminster Bridge. And then we all go, Yoo-hoo, we won everything, nothing. And there it is, all being burned down in the past. And then rebuilt. But there's no photographs. So somebody. Go and find me a photograph of this fucking thing being built. It's the most famous building in the world, man. Should be something. It's up there with the Taj Mahal, man. So, yeah, they thought this out. The architect was like having a little giggle sitting there. And he's like, oh, look, if the sun shines through the sides of the, the, the balustrade on Westminster Bridge, there's little penises down. <laughs> That'll be funny, won't it, when the sun's setting. The British have got a sense of humour. You've all seen Benny Hill. <laughs> so yeah um rule britannia yeah this is the heart of babylon yeah if you're in parliament square yeah and if you're you're even doing anything remotely disturby okay or like you know protesty they allow that shit they like it because they're watching your ass in what is the golden triangle they actually trap people there you can't get out because got all the exits blocked off which is why there was that protest there it's really hard to get the fuck away and it's the most camera city on earth. And in the center of Babylon Central, 
Um, they have more uh, cameras than any other place on earth. I mean, they are everywhere. You can't do shit. Uh, so I don't dig walking around even the centre of London myself. <laughs> I go to a speaker's corner and that, you could get your head fucking chopped off there. They're all chasing one another around with fucking hatchets over religion. I ain't even joking. It's fucking stupid. It's not British either way to fucking carry on. So there it is. It's big, isn't it? That tower there is absolutely massive for the Palace of Westminster. So they have a load of old cronies in there ruling us, falling asleep in the chair, being paid fucking stupid amount of money and tax hikes. So there they are, the bells. Massive, innit? How the fuck did they get that up there? And they got the exact same mechanism today as the Trago Square, indeed, Jack, Jackie, Jackie Wells. Trago Square, indeed, the Golden Triangle. So, um, yeah, how did they get up there? And they got the same mechanism that's been going for like, you know, the last 150 years. And they got old fashioned two P's and one P's. Apparently, when they refurbed it and stuff, you know, 5G and, there and all the rest, all them new technologies, and refitted it out and all of that. Um, they digitized it. It's only been off a couple of times in history. <laughs> so, what I'm wondering is about this. I'm going to show you some photographs in a minute of the building of um, or the taken down or dismantling of London Bridge in London itself. And then they ship it off. And then this is in the 1970s. So why is it there? All like, all right, I dig it's on a river and all of that is mud and, and um, you know, just debris from the river, possibly a flood. But it does look like mud. And the bridge is all battered, bits missing and all dirty and fucked up. Well, it was only put there in the 1970s. I'm just wondering how this could happen. It's almost as if, like, it's just been beamed out of London, beamed over to, like, you know, Arizona, and then it's just like, what the fuck is that bridge doing there? And then it's just got to tell a bullshit narrative for, like, you know, fuck me, somebody fucking, somebody portals a London bridge to the centre of Arizona, because that don't even make any, that don't make no sense as to why you would have that bridge in Arizona. Oh, just like some Arizona oil magnet. There's no fucking such thing. So some rich Arizonan is like, oh, yeah, I'm going to import that bridge from the other side of the fucking universe. Makes no sense. So what else were they doing in Westminster was um, they had an, their own private necropolis station for the amount of people that are actually dead. So I'm guessing if you've got trains to run the dead out, there must be a lot of people dying or maybe all of them. And there is the only evidence that I can find of the Houses of Parliament being built. It's pencil drawings. Pretty piss poor, isn't it, for the wealth of information that you can find on the internet. That's all I can find. That's really disappointing. So there it is, Big Ben, the biggest clock bell in the world at the time. And they founded it and they got it up there, apparently. Another miracle. Another another miracle. So there's Westminster Abbey and St. Stephen's Chapel. I think that apparently bits of that um, survived. Why is the speaker? And who the fuck is the speaker? He sits there. He's like boss. And he's got his own house as well. I'm not so sure about all that. Sounds weird. Anyway, so moving on to another uh, famous British... Icon. It's the Bank of England, although it's not in Britain. It's not even in London. It's like Washington DC, it's in his own universe, like San Marino or Liechtenstein, but not quite. But it's his own principality, Miles Square of uh, the World Bank, which apparently they're moving to Leeds, there's a rumour. It's not Leeds for the World Bank. Anyway, there it is, right? So Sir John Sloan, we've heard of him, Sloan Square, haven't we? Magnificent Bank of England on Threadneedle Street in London. Nice name, that, isn't it? Um, built between 1788 and 1833. Um, largely destroyed when the bank was rebuilt by Sir Herbert Baker. Um, an act described by um, Perth Perthsner 
as the greatest architectural crime in the city of London of the 20th century. Okay, so even they say, well, that makes no fucking sense. It's the biggest crime ever. Why did they take it away? So the only bit existing of the old Bank of London is this bit that you can see on the corner here. I've drove around here many times and walked around here many times. Um, this part of uh, the city of London it's a lot quieter than it was back when I used to hang around there. And I like I'll go around that 1970s and early 80s, I mean. Place was just mental. This bit here, see the Greco Romano stuff. And this thing has got to be impregnable. I got pictures, but I thought I, I advised myself, I got pictures of the vaults of the Bank of England. I thought, well, no, I don't actually don't think I'll be showing them because you know, we're looking at the architecture and we're not planning to rob the Bank of England, obviously. <laughs> that would be silly. So um, this was a painting um, somebody did of the destroyed with no narrative anywhere on Wikipedia to how this was destroyed. Try find out yourself. Um, this Greco-Romano world of giant arches and just basically a city within a city. And this is it. It's even got like chapels and rotundas. Some of it actually survives. But what I'm wondering is why there's all this mud below it if this is in the centre of the city of London. Endless pillars. So a bit of Rome, basically. But interesting bird's eye perspective. Interesting that he was thinking this. Is it a reality? I don't know. It's there in the art record. The door of the Bank of England has... The power they doth yield. So they show you the Phoenician maritime power, wings open on the Caduceus active charge. And there is the active charge of Zeus's thunderbolt, the Fasces. That's the power of the realm, which did that. So they put that on the door of the Bank of England. Hint, hint. And then they rebuilt it. So the outside bit, like I, I mentioned, when I, when I used to walk around London as a kid with my mother, my sister, my mother would like, we we literally walk around this corner here and all of that dirt you can see there, I can remember it clearly. Like my mother used to like, on the side of the houses of Parliament, I swear to God, I went like that with my hand and it was just black with soot. Yeah, I must have been 10 year old, 11 year old. And um, my mother used to, we always used to dress nice, obviously, to go to London, but um, she would just pull you away from the wall. You could not touch anything. It, you would be stinking. This stuff was just fucking lethal. <laughs> so, yeah, the exterior um, earlier design, apparently, a bit of Greco Romano architecture still existed, and they put the massive bank in the center, in the middle. But you can see some of the old, that was inside that map, the Greco Romano columns. And some of the big old doors and courtyards, but all looks rather mud flooded. And that was in 1926. So, you know, relatively recent days, they built this new Bank of England. And some of the old Bank of England there, look at the size on that for a window. This is the old bank, you can see. This is a, this is an arch, an arch of triumph, isn't it? You see there, there. The Roman arch. Hmm. They're um, excavating a bit of Rome um, near the um, in London at the moment. Oh, look at that! The facade's all blocked off on an inner court. Yeah, it's like Buckingham Palace. Yeah, um, near the um, the Shad skyscraper. There's an area there with mosaic floors, and you don't have to look far in London to find. That's the Royal Exchange to find any existence of what they call Rome. Wow, that is super cool, though. Or well, the uh, <clears throat> the amazing frontage is blocked off from the outside world, only to be seen on the inside courtyard. Just have a little mark up. So freaking out! Wouldn't be easy to uh, rob the Bank of England. Look at the size of these concrete walls and these thick things there. But it's all tunnels underneath, isn't it? It's all tunnels underneath London. So there it is, the architectural wonder, which was a crime to devastate, which somehow got Burton on that painting show to be completely devastated. 
and there's that corner that you've just seen on the, uh, the modern day photographs that is still existed and still there today. So that is the Westminster Palace, no evidence for its photography, uh, destroyed. This destroyed, rebuilt, reasonably same period. And then you've got this um, London Bridge, and there's photographs of it in the 1970s being dismantled. So did they close it completely? <laughs> no. They put another temporary bridge next to it, you see? And then they just took it down a bit at a time. I'm guessing they stuck it on these badges, the stone, and then maybe took it off down the Tilbury docks and then shipped it over in a couple of ships to Arizona. I can't imagine how they did it. It's just mind boggling. Think that they did that. Just crazy. And they, you know, demolition of the old. So um, this was the old London Bridge. 1932 a year before the destruction of or two years before the destruction of the house of parliament all the bridge the house of parliament the bank of england you know again a bit of a pattern going on yeah so. and the city of westminster then so these are rather delicious old photographs that i dug up this week which prompted me to think more about london so, oh, things beeping away. So there's that corner I just showed you of the Bank of England, which is this corner here, the filthy corner covered in muck. And this is the days in horse and cart. You can see all these windows blocked up. There's the argument there was window tax. I don't think that's the case for all of Christendom. And I don't think it works the same for <coughs> Asia. I can't have everywhere having window tax. And look at the architecture and the amount of people crammed. Look at that ball there. Can you see that? It's a big ball with an antenna. Smag up on that. Go on, look at this big old stone tower here with the old clock on it. And look at this thing here. <laughs> wow. Big ball of mercury, that one. And that's 25 past four in the afternoon london london stereoscopic photographs okay so it's interesting that there's so many photographers and we're in the you know the busiest most you know productive city in the world at this period and these are 1880s of london some of them are 1870s they have stereoscopic photographers um, yet they can't take a photograph of the most important icon in the whole of the empire being built. Nobody took the initiative or did they just get rid of them all? Or do some actually exist maybe in the Houses of Parliament on the wall themselves? Or are they all just paintings and shitty engravings? I want to see that built in photographs. And that will, and I will quieten down. I will quieten down. I will I'll say, okay, it was built. Because at the moment, I'm like, that's the older world. And all of it is. This thing, you can see being built. Clearly, there's a, a shit ton of really interesting photographs of the building of this skywalk. There's glass there on the floor today. It used to be a, a haunt of prostitutes in the wars, apparently. And these towers and huge bastions in here, which lift these huge doors to allow the ships to come up the river which they don't come up this far anymore so they don't use it that much you know, this is ceremonial because don't want to cut the traffic off so that is tower bridge and if you was to ask say um, american tourists for example uh, how old do you think that bridge is and they'd say wow I, I think it's hundreds of years old well it's not it's not it's it's 1870s, 1880s, and there's a load of photographs. <laughs> so what we got here, figure of Queen Elizabeth. We'll have a look at a picture of Ginger Queen Elizabeth I. She was an unusual one, wasn't she? And look at all of that stuff. Wow. And blunderbusses or musketry. And look at that cannon. So what are these stone balls for? Where's the cannon for them? And look at the engravings on that cannon there. 
It's weird. I went to um, Louis Tussauds, was like Madame Tussauds in Blackpool once, where they had wax doubles of famous people like Michael Jackson. Oh my God. So that's Trafalgar Square, very famous Nelson's column. There is a picture of it built. Um, again, I can't find any pictures of that being built. And I've got the earliest film um, and the earliest photo ever taken of Trafalgar Square. And all of these buildings that you see in Trafalgar Square as of the modern day were all there already in situ. That was like 1850s. So is that Goa? Like India. Magog. Oh, right. I, thought, um, I heard uh, the 322 um, Skull and Bones name for um, Bush Elder was Magog. And yes, Magog. So let's have a look what we got on top of this beautiful column. Queen Victoria, the little tiny little empress of the world, most powerful lady apparently that ever lived. And she was only like five foot, I think. So, yeah, I think oh, the whole population's dead. This is the center of London. I can't see hardly any people. What about steal things for? Gog and Magog, dimples. Says Marianne. Yeah, Gog and Magog. So um, um, Elder Bush was Gog and Magog was Younger Bush in uh, 322 Skull and Crossbones code names. It's funny all that bullshit went on in um, in Russia um, on 322 Day. Not that they're, not, they're not in it though, are they? Yeah, whatever. So um, yeah, tons of weirdness going on in the realm to keep people hypnotized, isn't there? There's the missing royal family. Look like they've all gone and done one and been replaced by AI, whether they existed anyway. But I've seen them. I've seen Lady Die. I've seen Prince Charles. I've seen the Queen Mother. I haven't seen... Um, the, I didn't see the Queen. Oh. Queen Mother was nice. She waved at me. She did. She's going, hello, little Welsh boy. I'm going to eat you. Nah, she never said she was going to eat me. I said she was going to eat me. She looked at me like a piece of pork. She looked at me like a pork chop. She's like, I'm going to eat you. Fuck off. The Queen Mother was lush. She never ate no one. Not that I know of, anyway. Just saying, I think the Queen Mother was lush. I'm a big Queen Mother supporter. In fact, they're all growing on me because basically they own the islands that I'm sitting on. So for that token, Royal Britannia. <laughs> so there's a lot of old Greco-Romano stuff. Looks like Berlin, but it's not. It is the British Museum where they're filling that up with dinosaurs and stuff to prove the, or stuff to attempt to prove the theory of evolution. But they didn't. You know, we're here like 150 years later, and it's still a fucking theory. I'll come up with anything, have they? No, they never ever will either. My cuttlefish changed into a bear. Your cuttlefish changed into a bear. Aye. My cuttlefish changed into a big woolly bear. That's evolution, that is. Mm. Oh, there's not many people around that day. It looks to be sunny and there's trees full of leaves. and Rawr. There's something inside of these, you know, these, these things. I bet there's secret doors. That looks like a hinge. I reckon there's um, secret stuff inside that tower. Oh, yes, the James Bond. Uh, oh, imagine time traveling <laughs> outside of there. Did any of you, you probably don't watch telly. I don't watch telly, but I got like turned on to a series by my son called Loki. You know, Loki out of the Marvel. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. It was fucking wicked. Badass. They had um, one episode. They were in the Great Exposition. In uh, Chicago, they were on the big wheel and everything. Oh, it was amazing. And I so was like put on to a time travel trip for hours after. Yeah, it was brilliant. I was totally time traveling in my Brian. <laughs> and that's where I go. <clears throat> okay, to the old curiosity shop. I bet they got some wicked Twilight Zone magic stuff in there. Yeah, you fucking know it. So there's a Bank of England and all the products brought in pairs soap and 
Cocatina and all the groovy stuff of the empire called Britain Rock. And there's the Bank of England, which is a city in itself and not part of London. They've got their own police force, the City of London Police. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. Did somebody call? No, I said the City of London Police, not the Metropolitan Police, because they ain't in the same posse. Oh, they always got like, they're always like rushing to one and to get to a case before their opponents. It's like, this is, a, and it's famous saying, this is out of your jurisdiction. They love to say that when they're eating donuts. Oh, yeah, British police eat donuts too. See this guy here? What you don't want to do is fuck about with them. Yeah, you don't want to go up twirling their moustache, okay, or fluffing their fluffer like that. Okay, with one of these. Because you know what will happen, don't you? Yeah. They don't stand there and take it like they tell you on YouTube. Okay. They fuck you up later. They fuck you up later. They come around, all of them. SAS style. They're like ninjas. Look at them. I'd be all massive respect, man. I'd be like, yeah. i got to keep my bum. You know, I'm from, I'm from Wales. So it, it is advisable if you're in Wales in public. It's to keep your voice down. Because they're like those Welsh. So there's the Royal Court of Justice. It's funny, isn't it, saying justice? Because hardly anything's justful in courts of justice. Mostly just people just had to do stuff to just survive because of all of the weirdness that they introduced. But that's what it's all about. It keeps them in work. Keeps them all ticking over. Somebody has to do it. And somebody has to suffer, apparently. So. Horse Guards Parade. <laughs> That's a good place to go if you want to get out of the way of all the cameras to build up a spliff, is Horse Guards Parade. Future reference, there's a nice little bench out of the way of everything. It's where spies, yeah, pass you microfilm. Not that spies have ever passed me microfilm or drugs or anything else ever on a park bench in London, because that would be weird. So, um, Whitehall, okay. I wonder why it's called Whitehall. There must have been a white hole there. It looks a bit mud floody. So, yeah, that's all like where they all hang out, isn't it? Touching one another's wheelies. No, they do, guys. They do. Public school boys. Go on. Whack my dick in the door, Sir Humphrey. Give it another slam whack. They're like that all day long. Yeah. They don't even know what a woman's for. Same for these lot in the church. Yes, bring in the choir boys. We have pretty little dresses on them, too. <laughs> And use the firemen come to out the fires that they never out are oh, beautiful horse with little spots on. But who am I to judge anyway? It's not my realm. I can carry on anyway. Why should we feel sorry for the poor choir boys of the St Paul's Cathedral? Look at this thing. How did how didn't this fucking burn down in World War Two? It's a bit of a Tudor poo. But they're not. They smell lovely. They've got lovely piney floors. And the trees that these are built of are the trees that fell that were the big trees. No, I really do think dredge chronologists can't pin these down, yeah? They're like, oh, yeah, it's an oak tree. It was felled between um, 1080 and 1458, uh, roughly. Like, well, you don't know then, do you? It's like, no. There it is, St. Paul's Cathedral, totally... Um, unsymmetrical. There's a clock in this one. There's fuck all in this one. The whole thing looks like it just doesn't belong there anyway. Apparently built after the Great Fire of London by Sir Christopher Wren. And there's basically, basically, let's tell you a story, okay? If you're treasonous and you think bad things about the British Empire, yeah, that's where you go. They're going to reopen it. It'll be like a, a virtual torture, okay? And they're going to reopen, not just not just for my benefit, but they're going to reopen the dungeons at the, at the uh, top of London. And the ravens, yeah, yeah, they will fuck off. Yeah, yeah. And do you know what will happen if the ravens fuck off in the Tower of London? Do you want know to tell you? Yeah, London will fall again. So it's clear to see what happened in 1836. It's the ravens fucked off. They come back again, obviously. So, looks like a big obelisk. It's probably Cleopatra's needle. 
Right, I don't identify that back. Oh, that's Somerset House. How is that possible? This is the embankment, is it? How is that possible? Um, yes, because there's a bit, yeah, it is the embankment. There's a bit of a bridge. All of this got built on. There's a road going through here, no? That's a really interesting early photograph of the, before the embankment. Ah, <sighs> what we got here, the foreign office. Mm. What's that all about then? What they do in there then? Dictate the empire. And yeah, apparently, here's another thing they do. Um, but apparently, um, I, I posted a picture of where the site for the original Cleopatra's needle was in Egypt. And basically, it was in um, somebody's backyard of their shitty shack. And they had this column and the British went like, oh, yeah, we're going to take that out of the desert, flow it all the way down the Nile to um, Port Said, and then we're going to stick it on a large ship. And then we're going to sail it all the way back up to the Thames. And then we're going to put it up on the banks of the Thames. New York as well. So, or was it there already? And look at their lampposts. Hmm. Greetings, striker. Greetings, everybody. So, yeah, that's uh, London. London. So let me show you a little bit of uh, footage of old London, which is a nice little bit of a joy. And we can see um, in the days of electric trams, don't see any motor cars at this period. It's pretty early. Nice bit of footage of London. Let's have a little look at this. Gaslights, JRB. I don't know if that was the thing they are. Well, that looks like gas, but I think they did have electric lights. Look at the size of that guy. Go, he was he was tall, but they did have tall people. Everyone smoked. There was no fucking problems. Imagine smoke. Everyone just frowned. No, you can't do fuck all. You can't have a fag in a pub with a Guinness. Yeah, because it's oh, li they literally call the riot squad if you lit up in a pub in this day and age. Just fucking troll freaks. All the things we used to love to do. So, yeah, it must have stunk a cow shit, and there's all that chaos. How many people are dig off and killed on the roads? So there's no cars, just loads of trams. And if it rains, which it does a lot of the time in Britain, you're going to get proper wet on them trams. They've got the roofs on them. So how many dragging this one? It's not electric. Three horses dragging that poor, poor horses. Okay, we got a motor car. And hang on. Oh, is it electric? Electric steam and petrol systems. So we've got electric cars. Everyone dressed in grey and every single person got a hat on. Every single person is covered up. Women, long crinoline gowns, black coats, overcoats. And everybody in top hat. Everybody. Young boys, they got to wear short pants. Whatever that is about, I don't know. These look electric. I can't imagine them lighting them with a candle, uh, with a stick, with a light on the end, like they say. So a lot of workmen. And everyone's in mourning clothes, because they're mourning. Oh, yeah, let's get the old spunk off your tash. Okay. Okay, right, I'm coming back for a bit, and I'm going to see what's happening, because that is the end of that section for a moment. Yay, good to see you. 469, you showed up. Awesome. <coughs> Happy Flatter Day, guys. Happy Easter. It's that Flatter Day. Wiggity Flat Firms. It doesn't even matter because we're going to have some fun here. So, debunkers and people, run along, find me photographs of the Palace of Westminster being built. That would be easy to do. It is the most important building in British history. Please. I don't know what's going happen, is it? Hey, lady. Be good, though. Ah, I could do a video about that then. Hippie shake. Do the hippie, hippie shake. <laughs> okay, it doesn't even matter. So, Isabella, what's that, man? What are you saying, bro? That man was the closet to an actual... I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't think I should read that. I don't know. So, yeah, flat thumbs. Flat thumbs, Marianne. Dim dimples. Onions, dimples. You can't call her that. That's my pet name. J uh, 
flat of British. JC, flat of British uh, thing. Um, all smart people left 150 years ago. I don't think they left at their own uh, their own decision. I don't think it works like that. Okay, nice one, Tyke. Ian Briggs is in the house and horse drawn Charlie's. Yeah, I know they have a few of them, don't they? And some of them, um, we did check out the weight of them. Some of them were ridiculous tonnage and full of people as well. Just, I couldn't get my head around it, but they were actually doing it. I was like, well, if it's on rails and the horse get momentum, yeah. And then you just pull up like a manual brake. Yeah, but, oh, poor horses. Yeah, the first uh, electric tram showed up around 1875, so before then. The horse drawn, apparently. But I find it fascinating that they had um, trams before the motor car, you know, in most cities, Melbourne or Vancouver or whatever. Up north um, of the 49th, ooh, uh, tram runs all day with batteries. I've seen batteries of one going through moscow with uh on tr on tracks but no wires above and no apparent means of propulsion and i've seen evidence for some sort of magnetos or some sort of maybe motors that worked on uh ether charge uh free energy so um who was importing all that tobacco um it's a good one jt there must have been a lot of tobacco. Benson and Edges. Uh, Max, good to see you. Okay. So we're all doing really good here today. We're all getting along nicely. We're having a good time. And we're going to have epic fail sesh. Prepare yourself for that, guys. Uno, good to see you, friend. John, good to see you, you me. 7 0. And Jabby. Okay, then. And Striker. And all the guys. Okay, make sure, if you would. YouTube things, please share this out. If you could, that would be awesome. Okay, then back to the juicage. No. Stars. What are they? Okay, well, in the Truman Show movie, which I know is not a really real life, but it could be a documentary. In the Truman Show movie, um, the stars of lights and literally Sirius, the star, falls out of the sky and lands as a studio light and he's like and says serious serious one on him so let's have a little look at the sky just for a little section and then we're going to move on into some humorous little things to keep you all complicated so is nature flat earth british okay so okay these are awesome this year oh hang on a minute stop sharing first I think, because we are going to need volume with this. There's a, oh shit, where there's a, excuse me. Let me just stop sharing. Um, I'm going to need volume with that one. Okay. Professional YouTuber. Okay. Okay, jolly good show. Okay, so what we got here is um, these are for sale. There, I'd love one of these in my garden if I had a garden. Connectic windmills, and the sound is making shapes through the water. Observe the beauty. Okay, connected windmills. They remind me they remind me of star forts but you can see the fractal geometry in them you know the way reality is but it's beautiful to see them okay that beautiful really like one of them um but the stars in the sky appear to be 
in moving around in a medium of water. And this is a P1000 capture this week, found on Facebook from Tataria something or other. <coughs> and it looks like studio lights. In fact, they, they look like ribbons, lit, lit ribbons just waving in the water. And this is supposed to be serious. You know, it's supposed to be a series of stars, serious star. Again, with somatic pattern, again, with the, looks a little bit like that connected with mill, especially when it waves like that. But I really do think there's water above and that's why the sky's blue. I, I don't think they're gonna have, they can carry on with all this space nonsense for very long anyway. Most people know, but no, by no. I heard I and Mike, here we go. This is epic fail section. Are you, um, I am Mike. He's gone flat earth, I think. Mike Tyson, definitely a big fan of flat earth British. Love you, Mike. <laughs> so, uh, what are we looking at here? Um, I think it's a good idea to, if you get unwell, is to get a, a nurse chick to make you feel better. Okay. This would make you feel better. I promise you. This would make you feel better. Okay. Let's move on to some epic fails. People are silly sausages, aren't they? Okay, but here's two towers and a cup of tea. I hate it when that happens, guys. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is an old Tatarian building and it's going to be demolished. Let me just, hang on, let me just make these bigger a minute. Let's just make these bigger. Oh, excuse me. Epic fails. Excuse me. I'm going to just make them a little bit bigger for you because I'm not happy with the magnification. Perfect. Okay, let's move in. Better, better. Okay. Ah. Okay, look at this old Tatarian house. There's a person in the window there, but he's not there anymore. And this is what happens when you take away an old Tatarian building. Yeah, epic fail stupid but if you're going to demolish a building i'd be really good at this straight down straight down the fucker don't touch another building this is the way to do it guys okay like with all of them okay so he's injured he's injured hang on i can help i can help let me stick my ass straight in his face let's watch out again okay he's really injured i'm gonna put my bum on his face i'm gonna put my bum on his head i'm gonna, my bum's itching. I'm gonna scratch on his head okay he's like no get the fuck off my face Ow. That's why it's not good to get into football, guys. And they all get in the bath later together. Uh, I'm just saying. That. Like this lady walking a dog. Woohoo! Okay, it's not as safe as it looks, but oh god love her. Yeah. I no, she was okay. She was okay. Yeah. You live free, die young. In her case, die old. Nah, she was fine, guys. It took her for a drag for a half a mile. Look at this guy, cool he is. <laughs> what a twat! <laughs> I bet he didn't feel really cool after that, did he? It's like, I'm so cool. What a fucking spaz. Okay, this guy's doing his grass. Summer's day. They are powerful, though. And he stopped there. The car should have been going quicker. It's your own fucking fault. Take care. This lady smashes it on getting rid of the garbage. One, two. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lover. I wonder why he was filming her. Filming his girlfriend doing her. She backed it up anyway. Yeah, this is what you get if you're a criminal. Yeah? Instant camera's going to get you. It's going to get you, poke you right in your eyes. It's like, oh, I've got the money. I'm doing a runner. I'm a criminal. Ooh, 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 ooh. I beat him. I beat him. No, I never. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Oh, I'm going to get off the train early. Yeah, good advice. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to beat everyone off the train. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. What a fucking spanner. Wait for it to stop like everyone else. <laughs> Oh, that's the best. 
Oh, I love to Newport. Katie. Katie. Katie Newport. Right, this is the British, this is the uh, bit worse than the NHS. The NHS, man. If you want want um, an experience with the NHS, ring an ambulance, they leave you in the hall freezing. It's all right, he's not. It's just like he never had nothing going on until he got to the hospital. So like when he got it, <laughs> smash his face in there. It's like, <laughs> oh. I'm sure they do better than that. Let's watch it once more, though. <laughs> hey, kid, it's a globe. Poof. Yeah, proof. Look, you're living on that. Poof. Globes are cruel to kids. Okay, this is why it's not good to skateboard if you're a lad's ass. Okay, don't do it, guys. Don't do it. Not even if you're not a lad's ass. I wouldn't advise you. I'd have one skateboard, a couple of Tic Tacs. I'm good at Tic Tacs and 180s, but uh, 360. Yeah, I can do a full turn on skateboard. Fuck it. Even at my age. But I wouldn't want to fall off at my age. It's a ladder. It's a ladder. Run. Run. It's the ladder. It's the death of the ladder. It's it. It's, it's got us. No, no, no. I can imagine how terrifying a ladder would be, especially if it was moving of its own. You know, and that'd be really no, he put it there, look, because they're stupid, they went down the wrong way. It's to their own. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm gonna smell his bum. Ah, no, a uh, second bit. Ooh. Second base, <laughs> second base, second base. <laughs> oh, what about DVD? Go on, buy one with DVD, buy two for DVD, two with two DVD. What about Dufka? Yeah. He does look like the little the little boy that sells DVDs or phone jacker, if you know what phone jacker is. If you don't, find out. Best thing going. He's not very good, love him. Still, I'd buy another one of them because at least it worked. But it's just not over him is the only problem. Then my brother's got life of their own, man. It's possessed. Come on, guy. We're rooting for you. Woo hoo hoo. Yeah, don't worry about that the next time. Woo, woo, woo. Nah, okay. Lad ass fail. Okay, yeah. Oh, let's follow the big dog. No, maybe not. Oh. <laughs> Tilburg, Denmark, 2018 finalist from France. Finishes like a complete tosser. Thankfully, it was a rainy day and there weren't too many there to see it. The shame of the French people. Right, I'm going to fuck up kids. No, don't fuck me up. Yeah, yeah, easy kids, are easy to fuck up. Hey, little one, you look like you need a fucking Kung Fu chop. Yeah, yeah, you give me your dinner money. Give me your fucking dinner money. Yeah, fucking smack him on the wall. Yeah, this kid's fighting back. Come on in, kid. Yeah, this is it. If you're gonna win Kung Fu, make sure they're smaller. Probably. Give me your dinner money. Give me your dinner money. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is what you learned here today, guys. Pay attention. <laughs> you know that knocked her out. <laughs> uh, she got flattened by yellow man. Okay, I'm feeling sexy. I'm feeling sexy. I'm not so sexy. <laughs> feeling it. That's all you have. <laughs> Your little wilt. Oh. <laughs> oh, what a show up. Not a show. Not as bad as this. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm just going to fling myself around my room in my knickers. Oh, fuck. Them. No, she was going to try a handstand against the wall. <laughs> Okay. That was silly. Not as silly as this. Kids can't do parkour. And he broke his back. Let's check this old lady opening coke. Yeah. <laughs> that was someone. She did that herself. That was just like coke suicide. She dropped something in there. Yeah, she, she deserves that. Still. This lady. She's got new clothes on. It can't be all that bad. Just go change them. Woohoo. <laughs> 
the ginger got hit in the face with the bottle. Okay. Okay, cat. I'm doing my kung fu. That is a really good shot. I hope the cat was all right, though. Ninja cat. Once more. Yeah. Charlie says, never do kung fu with your master. <laughs> no, this is the best one ever, ever. Right. Just check the little girl's face right when a brother snots her, right? Speaks volumes. Classic, classic, guys. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, we've all done it. Look at this sexy hop. No, she's not sexy. She's like, I'm so sexy. And too sexy for my red dress, broke my ankle. And too sexy for my. That's your own fault. I'm light. I'm an angel. I'm as light as a bee. And I'm really heavy and I can't keep my momentum. Have you ever done that? Lost your momentum? No, I haven't. Because I haven't got the body weight required to lose momentum. I'm like literally on the air, just floating around. Look at these sexy ladies. Let's see how cool she is. Okay, she's not so cool. I guess she's should live it up. Let's watch her a few times. Basically, because they're in bikinis. Okay, let's see if she's any good. No, that could have been worse. She could have smacked her face on the board. Okay, she's going to be awesome. Woohoo! Come on. Oh, my epic fail. What? My epic fail section is just going to be the best epic flat of the day. Yeah. Launch, launch a mortar. <laughs> yeah, they're not very good at army. Maybe they should have just stuck to Walmart. Mind you, they look like the Mexican army. <laughs> okay, let's go on. Hey, ladies. <laughs> just run up to them on the beach and just knock them off. Hey, ladies. Yeah, that didn't go down too well either. Okay, speedboat. Missed the stick. Didn't miss that stick. Okay, missed the stick. Didn't miss that stick. I can't imagine what he's thinking, but like, that's like true for everything, really. Okay, other stuff. Okay, I hope you're all better after that. Okay. I'm going to enjoy them every week. Martin's epic fail section. Huh. Make me all hot. <coughs> Life is strange, Marianne. What are you going to do? So what are these? So um, I posted years ago these gold head things that the Dutch women used to wear. Okay. And they were apparently, they don't use them anymore. But they literally do commemorative um, Dutch national dress do's. Um, where they all put on the Dutch natural dress and their headwear is like this. Like gold, I take it this is gold. And the little antennas, the little ether antennas. Thanks, Vibes. Got more to come. More, more funny things later and more things later. So they've got the B-Tech going on, you know, with the uh, with the lace and these little plates and the ball and this beautiful geometric thing. So I think the whole thing would work in tandem. This, this, the whole thing. Probably makes you feel fantastic. Probably pulls and probably gives you like amazing thought processes where you're just like chap. Yeah. That one's got a jewel on it. Is it a hat pin? Don't know. Dutch. Head tech, and they got these bits that cover certain parts of the Brian. Uh, I know this looks like a plant pot, but it's not. And they have like these gold skull caps. Uh, but like I said, it's not all the skulls. It's a bit Borg like, isn't it? So she's happy. But they got all that cannabis, so that's why. So let's have a look. She's got a nice gold note throaty thing going on and this 
is the BTEC, which you've talked about. Two golden balls, two like satellites, uh, what are they called? Um, solar panels, and these. It's all a technology. That's craziness, isn't it? And if it's not, well, it fucking should be. Again, this lady's got the lace on. She's got a bit of the Wonder Woman's, and she's even got an aerial. And a little aerial, yeah. Hmm. They've got little aerials on them. Um, Shiva Shampoo, yeah. Southwest Netherlands near North Belgium. Check her out. Oh, she's got the best happy hat. She's got a happy hat on today. Okay, good, good. That's a hat pin for sure. I think that's just a brooch collection, but she's got these curly things there, these springs. These are amazing. And you can see she looks all smart. She's getting like all communications coming into her bra and she's seeing them now, all them images, all that info. And there they are back in the day. And they used these, these coils, these little, I bet they created some sort of toroidal little field, either side of your temple. Would be a tech, definitely. I think that is a thing. I think I'm gonna make some springs, wear them on the side of my temple, a bit like this. Yeah. So cool. I bet they're thinking all like about inventing stuff and that. There's, there they are, further back in time, the Dutch. And you can see this technology has been going on of skull caps, gold and skull caps and plates and urines for some time. Dutch tech. What do you think? What do you think? Shiva, hugs, Shiva shampoo, hugs to you too. Okay, let's have a look at some uh, Im interesting images. First, we're gonna look at the city of Florence in Italy. I don't believe I've looked at this in old photographs before. Let's have a squeeze through and see what we think, shall we? <clears throat> so, happy flat a day. I don't know what the time is. I've been going for like, oh, well, I don't know, an hour and a half. I've got plenty of time. Hey, Pamela, how's things over there? Hey. Everybody, Michelle Jones, Max, John Wick, Daniel, and Liddy, and everybody. Awesome. And Donna Marie. And Kate. And Defrag. Okay, slime. Berlin Tech. Slime Berlin Tech. Okay, let's have a look at the beautiful city of Florence. Now, <laughs> there's um, definitely some similarities to the name of Florence and Florida. <laughs> All right, it's the fleur, the flower, the flower. Um, but I definitely think there's definitely a Phoenician, Florentine, the genius of Florence, their own scores of art, all of these unbelievable artists and musicians that come out with the Florence scores, Florentine art, the beautiful, the best. Uh, Renaissance art, as you can imagine. But yeah, beautiful architecture. As you'd expect for the city of Florence. So a definite connection with Florida and Floridians, which we talked about this week, where I talked about redheads and, you know, where people are really coming from. Um, as an idea. And I think there's de I think I'm definitely onto something. This looks like a speaker, a little speaker there, a little speaker there. Coming out of the beautiful. It's got like um, circuitry on the outside with this one. I've seen this before and on the dough, um, like an exoskeleton circuit board outside of the church. I've seen this thing. I got this on on my kitchen door, <laughs> on um, a fridge magnet. <laughs> I got that building on a fridge magnet. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a Maury. Savoy Hotel, they got one there too. It's got a nice big dome on the roof. It's not like the London Savoy, but they got a Savoy. Do, do, do. Like a big pizza pie, that's a Maury. Do, 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 do. Okay, not many people around though, but they got some bad ass. Architecture. Oh, and they got a London Bridge thing going on. So this was what the London Bridge was like. So buildings on it. 
seen one of these with buildings on it believe it or not in fort worth in texas and there's one in bath in england where the buildings are still on the bridge people are living on the bridge there still then okay so yeah these are decidedly early before the advent of the motor car lots of blue holes in there look at the size of that dome there Wow. Okay. Uh, best quality artworks. Look at that tile floor as well. Or the mosaic -y floor. Probably a marble. Then floors get me some how they fit them floors. Just like doesn't they seamless? You don't seem to any seams in them. They always get me. Especially museums, the floors in museums. What is that? lights oh that wall's quite big there's a little tiny guy there maybe he is just that big maybe he's tiny Every, everything looks massive compared to people so why do you have the window so high and why so small why the door so big that's a lot of questions i do appreciate that it's like it wasn't a dwelling at all people and here is theseus on the statue and they are all oh, these are out in the open man you can just go and see them theseus who's chopped off the gorgon's head unbelievable artworks just out in the open like this Amazing. What are they selling? <clears throat> Souvenirs. Wow, the riches of this realm. Still, the days of Horton Cart, horse and cart, and they built all of this craziness. Look. Is that a water feature? That's glass on the bottom. Yeah, so it's all about the water isn't it especially with these structured water buildings and especially in antiquity guys you know that it was all about the structured water so that is a uh, florence and a bit further east in the balkans full of phoenician stuff this is a city when i went there it was destroyed after the occasion uh dubrovnik picked up salt there yeah so look at that big fat chunk of masonry oh i got chopin being a bit manic on the old piano over there calm down chopin fuck's sake dubrovnik porto so i guess in the old time war so yeah croatia they had that war go on didn't they and who, who's from here is Tesla, Nikolai Tesla, Scalinger, Scalinger's chronology. It's probably Scalinger's castle right there. And we were, um, I was supposed to go on to a Tatarian convention, but then COVID happened and it was called off. They wear fezzes there as well. Fezzy. Wow, look at that fort. It's not got any guns in it. It's not doing anything. He looks like a soldier of the Croatian army. So, yeah, the Balkans is beautiful. Oh, let's have a look. You got a nice big Spanish steps thing going on. But they're feisty. They're feisty, though. So, there's always so many, many wars and things happening. Look at um, Franz Ferdinand. Going to get himself shot up like that, apparently, causing all them people to get murdered. God, it's covered in shit. I'd love to know what it's doing, all this pollution, because there's no cars at the time. And everything's just covered in shit. Is there actually anyone around? What's she doing? What's he doing? She's got a baby on her back. Nope. It's a lady face. I thought it was the other way around, and I was two women sitting down, and I suddenly had a freaky head with a freaky hairdo, but it's not two ladies sitting down. 
So a nice little well. I bet that water would be wicked. And some cloisters. Cloisters again. And some more footage. We'll go under it there, look. So that must be really because it's defensive and you want to keep the enemy away. That's why we have a big dog going into it. Cloisters again. So they got a certain themes to the architecture, but overwhelmingly it's the Phoenicians here. And I wonder what's inside this dome. And there's water coming out of these. People are drying clothes. So there's something inside of there. Water tank. Has to be. Let's have a look at this for a beautiful doorway. Got some kids posing. And Mary with a dead Jesus, which is very in theme with today. Um Getting, getting all nailed up and all that. It's just, just pants for him. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting little staircase. Keeps going up and up and up and up and up. Look. Whew, baby knacker going up there. I'm not very lit at night. I can't see any light in. I bet it's really pitch black at night. Look at this thing, it's fucking stinking. See, that's what I like to do, time traveller, right, and take a, a suitcase full of wire brushes back with me through time and get people to clean these fucking things up because that's just, it's covered in shit. Get these, that's it, make the monks. Give a monk and say, this is from the future. I'm from the future, monk. It's like, oh, wow, it's wonderful. It's like, yeah, get fucking scrubbing all that shit off, will you? Earn your money so I don't actually get paid. Just just get on with him, monk. Yeah? And he slap the back of his head because they got like a gap on the back of their head where the hairdo comes around like that. For slapping. To make monks do stuff. Do my bidding, monk. God, you work for God. So if you work for God, in a way, you work for me. So do my bidding. He's got a little plant pot on his head. And he's got a bit of the Freddie Mercury moustache about it. He's probably thinking, oh, Freddie Mercury's sitting there. No, nah, he's not, because he doesn't exist then. Oh, let's go and catch a fish, shall we? Sorry about what they're up to in the Balkans. Yeah, hiding all their good stuff. Look, under reeds. Or oh, ivy. And there's this Lamborghini. He's got a horse. She's about as good as you get in the Balkans in this period, I should imagine. Unless you're like, ah, Duke, fat, Ferdinand. So they wear the fez like the Arabs, don't they, in, um, in the Balkans. Oh, don't worry, because uh, the communists will move in and then they'll be there for like 50 years or something after the war. They'll like that. And then... The wall will come down, and then they'll just implode. They'll be like, what the fuck are we going to do now? The size of them columns. But they sort it all out in the end. I don't talk about, you know, war crimes or anything. I thought I wasn't there. So what we got going on? <clears throat> so a nice little statue of somebody there. It's got wrought iron around it to protect it from... All of the Ram Raiders that are ripping up and down the pavement in their Polo GTIs. And what's in the bags? What's in the bags? Okay, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Well, it's not horrible, is it? It's quite, quite endearing, really. It's quite nice. They haven't got much technology going on, I've noticed. Except that big water tower thing oh they wear pantaloons and all that don't they they put araby there considering it's europe and on the adriatic anyway ishtar there's queen elizabeth the first so yeah she was a ginger she was a ginger elizabeth the first 
Um, so when she died, that was the end of the Stuart dynasty. She didn't do so much of the, uh, of the, you know, reproducing because, like, well, not to put a final point on it, shall I, really? So um, here's D James Duty Dench, another uh, cultural icon, uh, national treasure, like myself, although um, she's basically, she's gone off on a bad path and have started shoplifting and um, stealing things um, because people don't think she's a really good actress and um, they're right so this is why you should never yeah see when he got into football he didn't know it was all gay uh, now he's just like just dawned on him he's like I've got to get in the fucking bath with him later and he, he looks like he's a Welshman you ain't gonna have none of that he's in fucking New York yeah look He's like, oh fuck, he's got he's got a little fucking stiffy. Oh god, fucking I don't ever look at him in the face. So you heard of El Nino, didn't you? We got new weather coming, guys. So the spring is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be hot, hot, hot. Yeah. El Nino, fuck it. We got a new one. El Nobo. Here it is, El Nobo. It's coming up to California. It's gonna skip around, bounce down to Texas, and then it's gonna go over the Atlantic Ocean and land straight on top of South Wales. Yeah, El Nobo. It's a new world. It's a new weather phenomena that you're going to hear about now. I'll never. The bees, the bees, the bees. Put them back in the Exorcist movie. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. Yeah, it was. You, you possessed the little girl. It's like, no, it wasn't me. I don't possess anyone. Yes, you do. And why are you talking German? You're not from Germany, are you? No, I'm from Israel. It's the same thing. Oh. But... I've admitted on the beginning of this vlog, like that I think Jesus is real this week. Fucking hell, watch it. Man, the acid's kicking in. It's like, fuck, you look like a crisp. It's like, you look like a pizza. Fucking hell, he's strong. It's fucking wicked. Fuck yeah, I'm mongy. I'm a pizza. Can bite your head. Can bite yours. Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh man, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> this is why it's bad to take acid. So here is the last trip they did, the last supper. That happened last night before. I don't know when they're nailing up. Does that happen tonight? 2,000 years ago, at this moment in time, yeah, they had a big, massive hammer and nails, yeah, and they put it straight through Jesus' hands and his feet. And they broke his legs. They broke his legs. That's how he died. Asphyxiation. <laughs> Trying to grab his breath. But his legs were broke, so he couldn't pull, so he couldn't breathe. Yeah. Um, he was basically betting with Simon or Paul. Uh, paper, scissor, stones, who's going to get crucified tomorrow? But worse, yeah, I think what was worrying him more is he was going to have to have a kiss of another man in the Garden of Gethsemane. Yeah. Jesus ain't like that, guys. Jesus got Mary, yeah. Don't do they don't do gay Jesus in this realm, guys. I'm, I'm afraid. Okay. <coughs> the ancient Greeks got hold of a drone. That should be handy. At first, they didn't know what it was, and he thought it was like, way. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, were you? <laughs> the uses of a drone. You could cut hair as well and pubes, but you wouldn't want to get your willy in the blades of a drone. Because that would really hurt. Or your ball bag. Don't get your ball bag caught in drone propellers. Okay. Okay. Good advice, Marty. I know. Use Rodan Finca prior to his other incarnation in the Mandala affected reality. Um, so, who thinks anything's going to happen during the eclipse? Well, I'll show you that I gave you a full rundown on what was going to happen um, over a year ago with the eclipse this, this year and i brought up you know they go smack through new madrid missouri fault line and i suggested on the video was that going to kick anything off and other things to do with comets and stuff uh with 2024 i think i think it's much more likely that it's going to do some sort of edits like the one here rodan's really conf confused or the thinker is because he's like well, that's weird because like my hands been always almost on my head and now it's on my chin. Bruce Forsyth, he didn't go, nice to see you to see you nice, did he? 
he went, nice to see you, to see you nice, like Rodan's fucking thinker, didn't he? Mandala affected Martin. So here's what the Vatican do this uh, some uh, Easter holidays. He got it wrong. He put a Christmas tree up. It's fucking that splits on the Christmas tree. And he thought, okay. I wouldn't do that. You get your bum irradiated. You get like bum problems. So here's NASA when they first discovered the moon. It wasn't Galileo in 1666. It was literally nasa discovered the moon and he discovered there was a chick laying on on the moon which is early nasa footage here's more early nasa footage this is the uh the stuff that's going on in the sky behind your back um you know how in corner of your eye you see like goblins and gremlins because they're like flitting in and out of double dimension so that proves beyond the shadow of a doubt that they exist like goblins and gremlins because i've seen them um, so on that mode of thinking, that's what is happening in the sky. Not goblins and gremlins, because they're in another dimension, just out of your peripheral vision. When you're falling asleep, you see them. Well, I do. <laughs> yes, Jesus, it's okay. He's not going to die. He's got himself a jetpack. The end. See, no one dies. This is back in the rave days in Britain. I love this T-shirt. Yeah. Clubbers, nice tripsies. It's like a snack, crack, and pot on, uh, on Rice Krispies. We all love Rice Krispies. Don't eat them. Don't eat anything Kellogg's, yeah? Yeah? Do you know Kellogg's? I'm afraid so. And I mean for good. I mean, you'll never recover. If you eat cornflakes, that will happen to you. You will never recover, okay? Not even Viagra will help you. So, yeah, raving was awesome. I didn't bother. I, I got out of all of that shit by the time. I, 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 fucking, I had a family and fucking working. I didn't have time to go and fucking take ecstasy and fucking dance around getting myself ill. Fuck that. She ate a crab, yeah? By knock the fuck out. <laughs> One little snack ruined everything. She ate a crab. That can kill you. That can kill you. Your seafood is so dodgy. If you want to get, like, salmon alad, that's the way to do it. But... <laughs> I knocked the fuck out. <laughs> what did they say there? The fatting is a bit much. <laughs> Crab fats are really bad. They're worse than protein fats. Egg fats are pretty bad. Seen this? Hee <laughs> hee, man. Oh, I love Michael Jackson. I don't think he was a pedo. I think he was all right, Michael. <laughs> do you like Michael Jackson? I do. I'm allowed. <laughs> anyway, he was he man, as you know. He said, Oh, history's a lie. And then he pretended to be dead. So, ooh, look who it is. It's Princess Leah with her dad. I don't think you should hold your daughter like that on the beach, but you know, I'm not from a far place in a far off galaxy. So, again, who am I to judge about the things that goes on in the realm? But, ah, oh, Princess Leah, wasn't she cute? Do you know she was only four foot seven? Yeah, she was tiny. They should put her in R2-D2. Now we know. A digital artist combined a Leonardo da Vinci painting of Jesus with the Shroud of Turin using AI facial generation software. And this was the result. So why are you telling me that Jesus is Frank Zappa? It was down at Joe's garage. We didn't have no dope or LSD. Had a couple of quads to be. So now you know who Jesus Christ is, Frank Zappa. And they killed Frank Zappa just like they killed Lord Jesus Christ. I got an amen with that? No, don't. <laughs> Praise AI. So here's a, a Roman mosaic, okay, with gods. Okay, we have Venus. And we have, and what I noticed with the gods is they are all, they're all ginger gods, aren't they? They're all gingers. The gods are ginger. The ginger gods, not only that, they have bird feet. They have little sticks and bird feet, but that could go with their wings. It makes perfect sense. Why have the gods got stick feet? And here's Jesus, the master, title master. He's turning up. They're like, yeah. Uh, 
you're going to be really popular, your cult, in uh, 2,000 years, but not so popular now. Here's the Phoenicians in a bank in London. Jugs out, ready. Let's have a look what tech they got going on. Okay, she's got the holy hand grenade. She's got Thor's hammer. I'll give it to the Phoenicians, though. Yeah, they haven't got bad titties, have they? I'm just saying. This is a spooky church, this one. This is in America. It's a Jesuit church, this one, full of fine artworks. There's a Cherubinuski, blindfolded, because can't really look, because there's a plasma discharge just happened. We should have blinded everybody who looked at it. It's an angel coming down. See if everything's okay with humanity. Everything okay? I'm a bit late, aren't I? Mm. Yeah, it should be fucking late. And what's up with all the mud flood? You know, they give us everything bad press. They give demons bad press. Yeah? Demons, you can scare with lollipop sticks. Just go like that. Make a cross with lollipop sticks. And you can take off the baddest demon, guys. Yeah? So they ain't all that. And angels, I, I was just not feeling it. I'm getting bad fucking press. But I guess thinking this... I think in demons are not all that bad. The thing is, this is something really prophetic I used in the Loki TV series, was this. Not all good people are completely good, and not all bad people are completely bad. I concur with that. So here it is. Um, I noticed with all the John Waterhouse pictures, when he does a pre-Raphaelite civilization, all of his women are long-haired Auburn gingers and he's a ginger it's like everyone in pre-raphaelite worlds according to john waterhouse is ginger is there no other people in the realm at this period what's going on so here's another one she's turned up queen elizabeth she's put on a few pounds here but she's fucking ginger as she comes and her ladies in waiting so what's that mean ladies in waiting waiting for what waiting to wipe her bum okay and she's got the holy hand grenade, which she had off the Phoenician boss, who's over by here. Look, they don't wear clothes ever. And they're not hair either. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Anyway, they got that tech from the Phoenicians. Here's a sage. He's making, he's lonely in his cave. So he's making himself a civilization of little people. Now, that'd be really cool, wouldn't it? Um, having a little civilization and little cool people, little dogs. And just like, have your own little realm going on in your cupboard. Brilliant. Like the who? Well, I quite like the idea. And, and they would be really happy, not like prisoners on there, I think. Yeah? Nothing bad would happen to them. They'd be fed well. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I'm keeping that fantasy. So here's uh, May, yeah, uh, the month of May, and she's got beautiful red hair. These are nice. These are kingfishers. I've seen one of them. She's playing a harp. Angels plays harps as well. She's got blonde there, but she's definitely got. She's lit up. She's looking at that mirror. She can't keep an eye off herself for two seconds. Uh, she's like, oh my god, I. Eh? I miss my reflection. Oh my God, I'm just, I love myself so much. Oh, it's been seconds since I'd seen myself. Am I actually that beautiful? Yes, I am. Oh dear. Well, sorry about that. Here's Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte, why are you look so forlorn? So there she is. She's another ginger. She's off to um, do great things in Arthurian legend. Not. Thank you, Charlotte, for that appearance on Fat Earth British. Here's God and Mrs. God, yeah? Well, it's not. It's Adam and it's Lilith. She's got ginger hair. All witches, they got ginger hair as well. Uh, so. Why have Adam and Eve got belly buttons? If they were the... Never mind. So I'm saying they have got belly buttons. In all of the artworks, they got belly buttons. Adam and Eve, in all Renaissance artworks, got belly buttons. Why? Right. They got belly buttons. Where the wire went in. She'd know the answer. She's got two laurel leaves. One for you, one for me. I don't want one. The star in the west, Captain Fuller. 
666418. What is it? I don't actually know. I think it's something Freemasonic, though. It's got 666. Oh, yeah, I got it from a magic book. It's a magic spell. I'll show you in a future vlog. So there's Elizabeth. She looks a bit gaunt, doesn't she? He. And, um, oh, she's stinking rich. She's the richest woman in the world. I wonder why the, um, the pearls are made to go like that, a ring around one of her organs. So, yeah, the first Elizabeth, she was a pretty powerful lady. So this has been all over the internet all week. Um, some people, Russian vids just thinks it's fuckery, or he's making up somebody else did, so he doesn't have to take fault. But anyway, so, um, yeah, the worldwide supply chain has been fucked because, like, all of your pizzas go over the fucking bridge in fucking Baltimore, not, yeah? <laughs> I heard the most important bridge in the whole of America was Del Coron Coronado Bridge in San Diego. That's what I heard. Anyway, so the Francis Scott Key Bridge opened the 23rd of March, 1977. Anyway, I don't think anything happened, uh, anything and towards that. I mean, shit happens, guys, yeah? Here's Jimi Hendrix. He lived in this flat, apparently died in this flat. I can't imagine. You know, he, I don't think he was even on drugs. He looks too healthy, but he knew about mud flood because he's showing you, yeah, he's like, yeah, so mud flooded the fuck around here. It's like, yeah, man. It's got a nice flat, though. So like, yeah. Do you know about mud flood photographer guy? Look like you might be thinking from mud flood he thought. Look, down there, down there, mud flood. See how the windows are down the bottom? Yeah, man. So yeah, poor Jimmy, dead and gone. Lift his shirt to sing his song. Check these mud flutters he's going. In inhalation of vomit mines with three trained paramedics in the ambulance, didn't know to put him in the recovery position. It's about as stupid a story as Keith Moon's death or Brian Jones's death. None of them make any fucking sense. Contracts over 27 years of age. I can def I definitely think Amy Winehouse is dead, though, because basically towards the end, she looked really unwell, didn't she? So here's Queen Bunny, the Bunny Queen. She's part human, potty, part bunny, like the bunny girls. All in plain sight, guys. In the past, they were bunny women. Yeah. I don't know if they bred like rabbits or went like rabbits, like little ever-ready bunnies, but I've got a feeling they may have. I like to think so, anyway. So here's um, Greece, okay? And there's the Acropolis up there, um, but there's nothing really, out, and there's a temple, and this is like 1800s, but there's no nothing happening. But all of this gets dug out in modern day, and there's all Asia, fucking Greece under there. A lot of shit. Don't even, don't even, don't even look at it. So here's another elite family. So um, they all got ginger hair, different animals and stuff. Most of them got ginger hair. The Medici's. Medici's as ginger as gingers. So I realize this one is an AI picture. Don't score me on that. We are going to get rid of all of them. This one's not. This is a real picture from ancient Egypt showing you how they really built the pyramids. Just get it up on your fucking shoulder. It weighs nothing because you were really strong. Because you've been eating high fiber diet. In Great Britain years ago, we used to have things called cigarettes and we used to have a brand called embassy number no. five or four or two and uh, embassy number no. six if i remember and rightly tasted like shit but an embassy is a nice fag okay a fag is not a homosexual in britain a fag is a cigarette okay i know there was some confusion in texas when i was saying to people have you got a fag they were like sorry son i don't know I don't think so, son. Well, maybe. It's like, yeah, right. <laughs> well, that's a made up story, but it's quite good. You could buy low. This, they encouraged you to buy cigarettes in the past. And if you just smoke your fucking brains out, you can collect up all of the cigarette cards and you can buy yourself a lamp. 
a lamp, a standard lamp for your room, or maybe a new ashtray. That would be good, wouldn't it, considering you were smoking so much. So they really did encourage you to smoke your brains out. Chain smoke, I think, yeah? You breathe in air. Don't breathe air. Breathe fucking cigarettes, yeah? Don't take time off between them. Light one up, light the other. All them yellow things on your fingers, they'll all be gone by the time you're 60. It's a funny name for a building, isn't it? Shirley Temple. Should we feel sorry for that? I think so. London Frost, yeah. So apparently there was the Monda Minimum. It was a cold snap. And apparently it got so cold in London that they had a fair on the River Thames. You can see the old London Bridge, which we talked about earlier. And you could stand out on the Thames and do frost fair stuff. Like you do. So they had a lot of, I noticed that the WC didn't get invented till like 1830s. And then like, you know, the crapper, Thomas Crapper invents the toilet. But none of the houses have crappers, but they have underground public toilets all over Christendom. Well, they did in London or Cardiff and places like that. All of this effort to sink public convenience under the street. And it's got Antiquitec connected with it and all the water, structured water. So you could have a, a fine piddle in the past. Fine piddle. So here is, she got bad press as well. The whore of Babylon. Here's Babel, Babylon herself. Okay. She's got a load of other names. One of them you just mentioned earlier. And she's got a crescent moon on her head as well, hasn't she? She's got a little ruby for a belly button. And she's got two rubies in her eyes. So she can laser beam your eyes out. Because she's Babylon. Yeah? She just can't get her enough. She just can't get her enough. Okay. This is what we did when we were quit. Okay, try. We didn't give a fuck. It's like, I'm going to do jumps. I'm going to jump 20 people on my bike. I'm going to stand on my seat. I don't care if I fall off and smash my face in. Sometimes you did fall off and smash your face in. But this kid, she don't care. She's going to stand on a bike. Look at me. Look at me being super dangerous. Nowadays, then we won't be allowed because of health and safety. I think it's much safer if you sit upstairs on your computer game. So the Beatles, did they even exist? I'm not so sure if they existed. One of them maybe existed, the early 1960s. But these ones, they only existed in the studio. The last concert that they gave was in Japan when they sang Nowhere Man. And it was shit. They couldn't even play instruments. Then they go off to the studio, get all of that, you know, narrative with, oh, I don't like um, Paul McCartney. He's like, oh, I don't like her, uh, Yoko Ono. She sits on my amplifier. His precious fucking Fox amplifier. I mean, he's a fucking millionaire. He can buy loads of Fox amplifiers. Anyway, I don't like her either. Yeah, she fucked up all of that. No, I'm a guy who used to love listening to the Beatles every day. All the time, yeah? Now... I can never listen to the Beatles. I mean, I can't listen to any of them. Not even John. So, this is um, where they, um, 1967, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, one of the greatest albums in the history of albums. And here they've gone into some standing. So let's let's try and reenact this, right? I'm a member of the Tavistock Institute. And I, the Beatles, they can't do shit. You've got to just race them around place to place every day, photograph sessions, off to Apple Records, do this, do that. But I'm the, I'm the handler, okay? So how did this go down? Okay, guys, um, stand by the blue marble fireplace, okay? Yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, let's just get a few ornaments in. Um, they brought in a Chinese tower, but they didn't bother taking the price tag off. Pretty, pretty set up, you know. And look at the state of this chair. Everything else is really lovely, and they got a shitty old chair. And it looks like some some sort of strange, some strange stains on the back of this chair. By the way, we noticed. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think they were anything. I think it's all bullshit on toast. Have a stock. And you see, little bunny. Ah, uh, you think okay. Little bunny, yeah, go get it. Yeah, you can go get it. Get little bunny. Oh, little bunny, you can get. For little bunny rabbit. So here's Henry the Eighth. So it turns out, right, he has a ton of wives and he chops all their heads off because he's like, 
proper big proper does his head in quick yeah so um here's Anne Berlin yeah you see the B yeah she's she's a ginger she's ginger and they're all fucking gingers yeah Catherine Pa Catherine of Aaron um this Jesuit Berger I think she's Catherine, one of the Catherines it's like you don't even marry anything outside of his gingerness because he's King Ginger of Gingerland this is in this is a Greek actually this is an Italian remains in a temple in Sicily can you imagine the size of the columns that went on top of this plane yes it was a big world wasn't it it was a really big world it was a big world hats off right this is our earth kit moment this is cockney rhyming slang for i want to shit earth a kit but in this case we love earth a kit okay so she was conceived by ray uh like a lot of people um uh, born on a cotton plantation well if the django movie is anything to go by pretty pants was it really i don't know she spoke five fucking languages i got super intelligent friends that can only shit out one language she speaks five just like me so she sang in seven languages i showed you earlier that i can speak sing in italian when the moon hits you i like a big pizza pie that's amore that's italian and recorded the hit song santa baby in july 1953 so for survival better than billy holiday no she survived yeah she said she survived brothel she survived the whole fucking drug addict thing thing no she died of it but hats off, we love Eartha Kitt. And the later Eartha Kitt, when she was old, I didn't know nothing about Eartha Kitt's life. And she's a legend. So for, for surviving in this place, Eartha Kitt, we love you. She's got a bit of the Macy Gray's about her. I see Macy Gray. I love her. I love Macy Gray. I want to kiss her on a Brian. So here's Jimi Hendrix, another guy, a bird that looks like she's full as an egg, and Jesus Christ in a dress. But I wouldn't even slag off uh, Frank Zappa, Jesus Christ, about wearing a dress. Because somehow, awkwardly, it's quite, it just seems right with Frank Zappa. I don't know what that is. Okay, here's Howard Hawks. He's let one of his women out of his tower full of sex slaves. Here she is, here. And she's had to, after work, uh, come in and uh, basically check in with boss. So there he is, Howard Hughes. He doesn't look up too much, does he, to have a house full of um, women that he you know i'll give you a job as a um a film star but you have to be my sex slave and stay in my skyscraper and only have me be with you which he did to loads of them it's creepy isn't it but he had all the money in the world so he's betty davis with the daughter barbara she only had the one daughter i can't help thinking that that relationship of um her and joan crawford I'm writing a letter to Daddy in the brilliant movie, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, which is this movie. I think she was on about her and her daughter. I don't think her daughter, uh, she had a good relationship with Barbara, you know. So I've watched a few interviews with uh, Betty Davis. She's one of the great intellects, so smart, of uh, of the last century. Her and Bet um, May West. May West, I'm um, just business geniuses. She was just in so so smart. I really love Betty Davis. She got Betty Davis eyes. So seen Latoya Jackson. <laughs> There's Latoya Jackson there. She's back out. She's looking a bit like um she's probably 80. So uh, what Latoya got a knob? Latoya's got a little penis, look. Maybe it's just the way she's standing, or maybe she's got some bulbous pubes, who knows? 1980s pubes, 1970s pubes, yeah. There's Jimmy, he's going out on his roof with his little Union Jack, because he's British now. Yeah, he's with the experience. Yay. Which find them cats? Right, this is awkward. I've never really liked uh, Russell Brand, and now I know why. So this is Justin Bieber. Now, I, I don't know whether it's all right to drag a young teenager off to some, some Hollywood do or whatever, but probably got to be in bed by nine usually but no they drag him out he's a ginger as well um and there's russell brand who's looking at him like he's gonna fucking eat him and touching him on the face and his 
girlfriend stroke um, boyfriend or whatever um, that is, uh, Kate Perry with the robot eye. She's not even real, is she? None of this is real. So anyway, she's going to give him a kiss. He looks fucking petrified. There she is, look, Katy Perry. Because she likes to kiss little boys. Now, picture if this was a 50-year-old man or 40 year old whatever old she fucking is, kissing a 14-year-old girl or touching a 14-year-old girl in the same way because she's got her hands on his chest. Would that be acceptable? No, I don't think it is. And I don't think it's acceptable there. Um, it looks like, you know, here he is with that guy that's just gone off to his own island um, with another load of these blokes. It looks like they like might be passing him around or something. He doesn't look happy at all. Um, that's why he's on drugs. He's trying to blank all that out. I feel sorry for him. I think it's bad. Here's another one. Drew Barrymore. Now, Drew Barrymore, as you know, she's from the Barrymore, Michael Barrymore dynasty of Hollywood actors. Her grandfather's best buddy is Vincent Price. And here is young um, Drew Barrymore um, with a love heart in her hand and a very weird looking horror movie star, Christopher Price, holds in another love heart biscuit. It's a bit awkward. You can see why she, you know, she ended up, uh, you know, let's just say of the, uh, she likes women. You can see why she likes women. Here is Portland, Oregon. Minus the people. I don't know what's happened. It's the streets in Portland, Oregon. It doesn't seem to have any population. Just one or two, but it's a wet day. I appreciate it. Might be cold, whatever. Oh, let's just blow it all up. Get rid of it all. Tatarian buildings, blow them up. We want some big towers with glass and steel. Back up. Get them back up. Get them back up. Loads of housing needed. Okay. Never mind. Uh, we can live and we can, we can. We can, we can dream. Okay, what we got here is a weird Bible. I'm going to share it with you um, from Catalonia and Spain. Latin parchment, actually. And it's from 1400s um, and 1430. And it shows you an unbelievable load of weird images. Okay, so we got angel with peacock feathers for wings for a start off. Davis or Divus, that's God. And there's the Archangel Michael, who's passing God's. Oh, no, hang on a minute. The Archangel Michael is stabbing this angel behind God's back in the chest. Hold on. What's going bloody on here? See, this is the Bible, first page, right? Heinous crime. Okay, we've got another angel. Okay, look. Why is that angel got clawed feet and looks like a bird? Or a... that's the second time we've seen that. So there's a load of Cherubinowski singing. Oh, <laughs> And this angel is. <laughs> I don't know, it says Death Cub. Death Cup. Okay. And he's going beating up demons that look like that. It's like, oh, look at my beautiful hair and my beautiful butt, butt face. Okay. This is weird Bible. Let's look at some other ones. Might be Satan falling. Um, yeah, it could be. Could be. Let's have a look. See if that goes on. Could be Satan falling. Well, so Satan's killing all the bad things, the bad entities. Uh, they say Lucifer's like him, huh? and I sort of like the light. It'd be shit without it, wouldn't it be dark? So that's confusing itself. Okay, here we go. So this is Adam and Ewa, Adam and Eve, and um, they're being. She's been Eve's been pulled out of his stomach. So make your own mind up. Okay, Eve, why you got a belly button? 
and let's have a look oh my god lilith she's covering over her personal bits because there's like one person in the whole of the world again fucking lilith got chicken feet again and a serpent for a tail and um, eve why have you got a belly button you're the first woman uh don't worry about that my god lilith got weird incantations but again bad press you know what's the apple after all animator yeah don't don't get knowledge you never don't get knowledge okay she's already got it on with oh i'm looking so hot and where's her hand going round his hand and it's touching him on the just above the penis that's quite all right but her hair is really long still it's really weird god's like yeah you can fuck off why well you know all that fruit i've been gaslighting you with that i told you not to drink not to eat it's like yeah well she took she had an apple so like, yeah well god it's, we're fucking starving mate it's like he just leaves that horrible porridge stuff out of the matrix movie it's like, yeah, it's full of all the vitamins you need to survive in this place. It's like, yeah, but God, this fruit, this stuff looks fucking juicy. The banana was sitting there by the monkey, yeah, eh? And he's like, fuck yeah, this is awesome. Why is the monkey llama of bananas and shit? And we ain't. It's because you, you, he's got loads of crosses on his belt. Um, anyway, this is um, an angel. He gives them the fiery sword because they're going to need their outside. They get kicked out. So no one lives in there anymore. Garden of Eden. It's just empty. Waiting for two new customers. But it's all right. They got out. Eve and Adam. They had a couple of babies. They made a couple of babies. They haven't got belly buttons, though. Adam and Eve got belly buttons, but they haven't got belly buttons. Um, and they did a bit of farming. Yeah, they did a bit of farming. And they uh, got some crops going, mainly marijuana. And um, that might not be true, but that's what he should grow Hemp's cash crop. Um, and then eventually he gets on a boat and he leaves because he comes nowhere. No, he's not. He's not nowhere. This is later on a different person. There he is. Beardy. Noe. No way. Fucking hell, how many people he crammed in there? He's only supposed to have his family. He's crammed half of a good hundred in there. Uh, liars, isn't they? Fucking liars. Okay. And if you notice, this is supposed to be the far off. Uh, Bronze Age is Jacob on it on a donkey. Ah, and they're all in medieval clothes. They're always in medieval clothes. Maybe because they don't know what they look like back then. Okay, well, we got some crazy water tech. Huge water tech in a castle. I'm going to fight you with my stick. I'm going to fight you with my sword. That doesn't seem fair somehow, does it? What we got here it looks like antiquitech it is look at that it's floating it's got jet it's got jetpacks this is a jetpack city and they're trying to hold it down look at that weird okay only in the bible oh look ah oh, he's the baby jesus she's got a piss pot under the bed She's like, what the fuck? Who's that? It's like, it's yours. It's not, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm having a baby. I haven't had a baby. Yes, you have had a baby. You were pregnant. Um, no, I wasn't pregnant. Fucking take it. Okay. So maybe she wasn't uh, immaculate conception. Maybe she was. What's he doing to himself? He's scratching himself with a stick. <laughs> maybe she was... Um, lumbered lumbered with a baby she just dumped it on her she didn't know shit about it she's like yeah whatever is there any money involved it's like fuck yeah let's have a look at this i don't know if that priest is like inappropriately holding this lady it seems to be the case hmm. okay it's a bit of weirdness going on there but it is you know the bible so. okay Right, stick that board on your back, kid on your piss with your underpants, and climb to the top of there where that fiery head is. Oh, shit. Okay, that don't look good, does it? 
Oh, anyone speak Latin? I should learn Latin. Maybe I might get make better vlogs. Okay, we're getting married. He's obviously she's she's like, yeah, look at the fucking state of him. And he's like, yes, the honeymoon's gonna be wonderful. What's a honeymoon? Oh, you're taking on a holiday. What's a holiday? Well, you take her to a far off place. What, like Istanbul? Um, anyway, you want. And what do you do then? Oh, uh, God. God, he's big, isn't he? Toby. They're having a. That's better. No kissing. A mutual handshake. Because it is a business deal, after all. That's quite good. Okay. We haven't done nothing too bad. We sold our soul to Satan. It's not going to be not going to be too bad for us. So anyway, what's this knight doing? He's kneeling. God, he's got a, a sheep ready for um, later on. And he's got some stuff falling from the sky. She's getting some holy water. Check her happy hair. Yeah, check this out, love. Check this out. This is fucking searchy right out. Yeah. What is it good? Oh, fuck you. Bless your tits off for the week. Will you? No, it's water. Don't be so stupid. Okay. Wow, this Bible is brilliant. I might start reading the Bible. I'm feeling religious this week. Look, it's baby and a star. I don't know if it's star babies make that song. I'm guessing. It's like, who are you? I mean, mother. You look nothing like her. I was with a different woman yesterday. Where'd you pick me up from? That could have been exactly what was happening. Just, just put him down and somebody else just took him up and brought him up. He had 57 mothers in 32 years. What in God's name would that be? Okay. Uh, I don't know, guys. My poor Brian's hurting. It's it's a it's a battle horse thing, maybe. This God, hi God, a big fan of your work. Been living in it for a while. Um, what have you got going on? You've got a scepter. Um, somebody's holding the disc up for you this time. The screen. Uh, that's a set square, and you have the holy hand grenade. The resetting. Okay, that's good. Okay. Fully equipped God. We can lay that reset down. Yo. Okay, let's see. Uh, do you know what? That's that's a, an infant that's on the floor with horns. And the horse is just like... She's like, oh, oh let me just squeeze my nipple. Oh, yeah, she's publicly squeezing a nipple. Um, he's smiling. I wonder how he thought about it all when she said, it's really good of him, Joseph. And she's like, Joseph... It's like, yeah, love. She's like, you know, we were going to con continue our relationship later on this week, Wednesday. She's like, yeah, I've been looking forward to that. She's like, well, I might have to wait. Why is that, love? She's like, well, I'm like six months pregnant. It's like, but you're a virgin. I know. I got enunciated. Enunciated, love. Yeah, I got enunciated by the Archangel Gabriel. Can you see how this sounds like, you know, <laughs> making excuses but i'd buy it there was loads of god stuff happening back then i'd be like all right love i can see how that can really happen yeah oh all right then oh, i'll just stay with you for nine months bring up the bring up the bastard i mean the kid yeah pay for pay for it it won't be mine but i'll i'll bring it up like i love it let me smash your fucking brains in with a potato look at this kid Beating up, you know, he's even broke his armor. That shows you that armor does nothing. Yeah. God, fucking loads of carnage. You know. Okay, let's let's mag out and I'll show what's happening there. She don't seem too bothered. She's holding a dog fight. I'm confused about reality, guys. We just been we just been mandalad. Okay. Yes. Yes, we're making holy bread today. How do you make holy bread? Well, you put the gas mark at 240. And the trick is to have cold hands for your 
for your dough um, and to pound it like so oh cooking with jesus this should be a tv series when it will be in the year 2024 easter on flat earth british because i like nostradamus know all future timelines because i am jesus okay not not me um okay oh let's carry this head and ahead in this and this long cable to plug it in with uh you forgot the plug you forgot the plug glove <coughs> look at her she's good there's a foot hanging out of the bag um happy horns okay you can make your own minds up there's not supposed to be any knights in the bible they're not supposed to exist this one's morbius morpheus okay well there's a guy who's got like plant pots on his head like devo and he's being stamped on by a horse why is the bible so goddamn cruel oh blasphemy so cruel hmm? okay use the last supper okay okay guys let me just tell you i've only got one day i'm gonna be packing this job in and moving on to pastures new who brought the acid uh acid well yes last supper oh i brought a fish i oh, can't trip off a fucking fish simon smack inside of the end jesus why do you hit us all the time i hit you because i love you and i want you to learn okay use manna from heaven does he mean magic mushrooms i hope so okay dish out that manna give me that food bitch give me that green algae could be kalala could be kalala algae manna from the heavens oh do you feel like you're learning something here today uh like whatever that is on the stick they're playing it music I don't know, it looks like a disemboweled animal, but it's difficult to say. Whatever it is, they're happy about it. Oh, look, he's brought in some Antiquitec. Hey, Knight, I got some awesome Antiquitec for sale. What does it do? Oh, it makes you fit, and it makes you strong, and it makes you healthy. Uh, I am fit, strong, and healthy. Fitter, and stronger, and healthier. Oh, right. It's like an upgrade, if you like, to like better broadband better better broadband providings oh my god there's a, a jewish cross there he's got a funny funny look on his face uh, but he's covered in blood the hat the hat gang the hat team was covered in blood too so he's got a mace he's fucking macing them all in the face it's medieval battlefield look at this chick she's on top of them all battering them all look at her oh she's probably uh made of orleans 14 year old warrior yeah she killed loads yeah whatever just narratives obviously this is true it's like every single page somebody's died so far guys this is supposed to be bible what you got down there son you've got your dinner money hey big no she got your fucking dinner money what did i say to you you bring me your fucking lunch money every day or we'll fuck you up okay big nose so that's uh the phoenicians bullying and getting dinner money it's got a telescope there that's trumper good because that would be out of time for the holy period and we're playing slap fight okay you slap me in the face i slap you in the face okay i'll go first <clears throat> knife through the belly you said slappies i lied can't trust them you can't trust these fuckers from the medieval period they always lie in here's more death and destruction oh i love easter looks like somebody's about to have their penis removed they're lifting up his dress this is why it's always best to wear jeans this is cam and sam and jeffer um, noah's kids and He's got his ankles chained up, so I don't think he's there because he wants to be there. Uh, and they're giving him a lobotomy. They look an unfriendly bunch, these big noses, don't they? Well, 
Where are you from? No city, I'll take you that fucking cleaners. I will. Oh god. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Your wife, yeah. Oh, here's a pair of brown paper bag. Could you put her over her head? She's so fucking ugly. How oh, how fucking dare you? No, really, mate, honestly. Just don't bring her down here again, mate, okay? So obviously you are so below him that you are not allowed to look him in the eyes because you will be burnt to the crisp like Homelander, okay? And he has to wear a thing over his head. He's not an imposter. This is the real messiah. Okay, what else is going on? Hey, there you are. I'm just going to tickle you under your chin. I'm going to strangle you. Okay, just strangling the dog head. Ah. Okay, we're not going to go through 300 pages of the Bible. Hi, Squirrel Sniper. I'm coming back now. Hi, hi lovely India. Peace to you. Jia, Jamie, Jamie, Jia, everybody. I don't know how many people are watching. 488 of you on this good day of Easter Flatter Day. We're flat of British. He's laying down the troops. We're finding out loads about our reality. Seems to be a little bit of bondage involved in that one, though. And she's smiling, so again, we can't judge. What's going on? Words are swords. They're saying bad stuff behind Jesus God's back. Yeah. Do that, you know. Do that. Good, good luck with that. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is the Bible, guys. How improper of him to just grab her crutch or the dress in such a way. What's his face like? She slapped him in the face. She slapped him in the face. See? Didn't tell you about this in the Bible, did they? Go look at the pictures, guys. Don't read the words. Okay, we're coming to the end. No, he ain't. Okay. I want a happy ending. Is there a happy ending? Look at the size of the grapes they got back then, guys. When did they add so much wine? Oh, happy days in the medieval period. Piss in a bucket. Oh, 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 let's saw oh, 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 let's saw him in half down the middle. Who's that then? Well, that's he's look at his fucking happy hat. So yeah, that's not nice, is it? And somebody else is getting their head chopped off. Seems like a child by Mohab, which they conveniently named a bomb after. Mohab is a personality in the Bible. Why are they all in medieval clothes and stuff? Don't have nightmares. Nobody really got hand in this making of this production. Well, maybe some. But then in Far off, distant past. Don't worry about it, guys. It's not your problem. Yeah? It's not your chair. Oh, God. I mean, oh, God. So, yeah, I got a painting. These guys are not on crosses like Jesus, the thieves. They are, like, just, like, basically hanging there a little bit more comfortable. And I'd love to time travel. Go back to the uh, the crucifixion. What you don't want to do if you time travel is go back to the 1st of July 1916, Battle of the Somme. I wouldn't advise that unless you've got like death proof pants on. I'm no expert in time travel. Okay, the Pope's head's on the floor and it's been in his hand, he's been eaten by birds. He's disemboweled a Pope with a massive happy hat. And there's a lady, she's being sort of disemboweled anyway and things and stuff happening to her oh uh, we reading the same bible guys because when i was a kid i thought the bible was a happy place is it is it is it like a able here is blood drenched able <laughs> i'm gonna have to stop this now because i'm getting like head fucked i'm so confused by everything right now all this death and destruction i want a happy ending in the bible there you are, children. Climb into the cave. It's full of fire. No, that's the central heating. So they're just burning everyone. Okay. Shit happens. Apparently, in the Bible. 
So the angels seem to suck, don't they? Quite literally, 112 pictures of torture by angels and God. Ah, uh, lovely. Okay. So, um, yeah, I was talking about the comet uh, over a year ago and its path. Quite interesting, uh, all the things that we pulled up about it. But this was 2024. Um, and we know it goes over loads of, of the last one that went that way, over when all the Salem's as a crossing point by year. But it crosses over, um, exactly over, New Madrid. And as you know, New Madrid is an active fault line and the biggest disaster in American history happened when a comet went over it in uh, 1812, probably causing a reset. Anyway, oh, good to see you all. London was amazing. Thank you, Michael De Silva. Thank you, Mary Ann. Double flat thumbs to infinity and Joe. Okay. Ooh, I hear laughter in the rain. Okay, guys. I've got a couple of moments of sanity left. Not much. Hang in, hang in there. It won't matter. Take, take me as I come. Okay. That is not meant in a rude way. Okay. Excuse me. If I'm making annoying noises, I'm looking for something that I was going to play. But it's suspiciously, suspiciously gone. Is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. Uh, maybe it is. So yeah, thank you, Alva Billy and Cycle Dave's in the house. Hi, mate. How you? How you been? Peace, Frog. I seen you earlier. Okay. Uh, you can't make this shit up. You can't, mate. You know, you think the world's one way, and then you watch Flat Earth British, and you're like, "Fuck me!" It's nothing like I thought it was. So. I don't apologize, you know, just that's the way it is. Dr. Pat, Tyke Trucker, and Turkestin, Turkestin. Hey, from Florida. Okay. We love you in lucky Florida. We've had cold weather and we're waiting for the spring to arrive in Britain. But believe you me, we're sort of really excited for when it will. Okay, it's um, not about finding shelter from the storm. It's about learning to dance in the rain. Wise words. Wise words from Squirrel Sniper. Agreed. Agreed. Mitty. Ooh, I hear dancing in the rain. Okay, John Wick. Love your work. And he's saying hiya to Mrs. Swan, who is our Pamela Swan. Who's fourth? Bastard. Uh, have one of me the manners at force me maybe land. If you get a Vermana, hook us up, baby. Take us on a rip, okay? Back to the future. It's like time traveling and lazy on the front of British, isn't it? Did you enjoy our epic fails? We'll be doing more epic fails in the future. Not every week. I like to you know, break things up. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Coming up to the three hour mark. I have had so much information coming through here today. Okay. I am going now. Uh, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. I am going to uh, try something. I'm going to be. I'm leaving camera for two seconds. I'm going to show you some. I'm going to do another half an hour. Okay. Don't donate to me for another hour. I'll do another hour. I've got shitloads. But it's getting late though. And my side is hurting. Peace Frog. I haven't seen you around before, Peace Frog. You seem really Peace Froggy, which is awesome. And Zania. Okay. Let me some share some shit. Uh, this is a video uh, with some music attached. I'm going to leave camera for a split second because basically I need to. And this is uh, something I've never shown before on this channel, but it's from images uh, from a booklet of uh, thousands of images of antiquity. Okay. Excuse me. And it is aesthetic art. 
Excuse me. Okay. Ooh. Nanu, Nanu. Tokyo, Tokyo. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have a happy ending in the end. Ian Briggs. How very dare you. That will be not. It's garden. Frank Zappa. She looks all right. Make her holy. You monk. Yeah. Do, do stuff for me. Ah, oh, you got kittens. Uh, oh. <sighs> that stinking cold. I can just got rid of it. My nose is making like squirty noises. It's weird. Oh, that's my year. Oh, no. Blue belt. Ah. Oh, fucking hell. I can't wait to be back a human being. Years I've been here. Spider up my fucking nose. Tickling. Oh, I was human. I was beautiful. I was. Turned to stone. Mm. Oh, come on me. Okay. Let me just fly you out of here. Sorry you're not conscious. That would that's because I I knocked you out with. Ah, <laughs> oh, she's ginger. So yes, this week has been National Ginger Hair Week. Then you must fuck off. You ate my stuff. Go, just go. 
Oh no. They got belly buttons. I didn't know you've got belly buttons. Oh, thanks, New West Reset. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Ooh. That's more modern. Oh, this is this is why you should this is why dogs are so awesome. He loves his mouse. Don't quite. Don't quite. Oh Wolf. Wolf. Ah. Venetian glass for nuddy women. Yay. Thank you, God. Oh, oh, that sun. Fuck me, it's hot. They didn't tell me about that. Alpha. You know, there's Icarus. It could be. It might be the devil. It might be the devil. Satan. Satan's doom floating down. He's like, ah, I've been kicked out. What is she? Ah. Sounds like the battle of the AI gods. There's a sphinx. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, look what I found in this oyster. It's a baby. Oh, yeah, they don't... They don't come delivered by the stork. We find them in the baby pills. Oh, I'm glad my bottoms cover me in such a way they don't cover you at all, love. And that's a bit of seaweed hanging on your bum. You're naked. Never a mother of pearl. So that's all they had to do post-reset, look, because basically the world smashed the smithereens. It's lays about in the water. I pick flowers like a crazy person. Look at her eyes. Yeah, I'm crazy. Really crazy. She's got all ants off the flowers in her hair. I can see when I crawl on her hair. She's nice ginger hair, though. She's lovely. She looks a bit doo nah, that's She looks more feminine. Oh, she's beautiful. She's also got ginger hair. Why the fuck have they all got ginger hair? Huh? She's beautiful, though. Beautiful blue eyes. Oh, this fucking sucks. Gorgon, your breath stinks. It's, uh, it's garlic, love. You fucking stink of garlic. You just knocked everybody out. Yeah, well, I'm the girl. This is a dragon in the Sahara Desert. Drop dead. Use his tail. It's a tail. It's a real tail of a real dragon. Stop in the name of love because I'm an ancient alien. Look, somebody dropped an old pot and put it in another pot. Genius. This is how biting your nails ends up. Like Venus de Milo. Yeah. Got stats somewhere. Oh, he's butt naked. There he is. He's falling to earth. I got sacked. I got sacked. So I'll just... I'll make movies. That's what I'll do. I'll open Hollyweird. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Oh, look. Look at the night. He's so shiny. Um, I'm a shiny knight. Touch me. Touch me. All you ladies, just touch me. I'm a shiny knight. I can see myself in his armor. Um, uh, here's some fairies doing fairy dances out in the woods. Fairies. That's in the There they are. Real fairies. This is a photograph. No, nah, it's not. Don't believe that. That would be silly. But if you do, my mother seen a fairy going down the drain. I think if she, my mother wouldn't lie. Why would she lie about a thing like that? I think fairies are real. Look. Oh, I'm beautiful. I can see my reflection. You can. You are beautiful. Thing. And there's a, not an angel to be mistaken. It's a fairy. She's got fairy wings, not angel wings. And they only wear little bits of material on the bottom so is the rule in fairy kingdom and there's a nice bit of purple and a nice bit of mermaid it's a painting i know it looks like a photo uh, this is what old age does to you look makes you religious it's a Phoenician empress Full of wisdom and colour. And a few quid.
She looks under like some sort of mind control. It's that thing on her head. It's mind controlling her. Ooh, Ian, these are the breasts you requested. She's gonna jump in. Don't do it, love. I'll save you. I'll save you. I'll give you the kiss of my, kiss of life. Yeah, I will. So, um, AI. In case you know, this is actually art and beautiful. There you are. Oh, look! This is how everyone looks like inside. We're bone, and we look like this. I know by it. I don't believe it. I think it's fucking bullshit. Prove to me you're a skeleton on the inside. Prove you've got guts or hat or anything. Go on, right? You can't, can you? Because it's on the inside. Just saying. Can't even prove you were yesterday. I don't even think we were babies. I think they just download all our memories, and mine are like all over the place. I've been so many things in my life. I'm just like, I can't have been it all. I'm like that fucking Frank Sinatra sing. It's a song. That's life. Been a fucking pirate. She's a ginger. She's a witch. She's a witch. I think there's more going on with them. Them um, flying broomsticks. I think they vibrate violently when they're in the air, like oscillate. Bit like horse riding, I imagine, for a female. I don't know, no specialist. Look at this. She's riding out with it. She's shark infested custard. She's rising from it out of the custard, out of the fresh cream. Good enough to eat. Oh, 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 I think I'll just stretch out or start bollock naked and ah, have a little stretch. Oh, yeah. Statues love a stretch, guys. All ginger witches, JRB. I know. I don't know what they're, they're just trying to tell us something. I think. <sighs> and you most you lot would have been burnt with a stake if they'd known. Oh look, the crow's taking a shoe off. He's gonna fuck off with a shoe. All out one piece of marble. What are they doing? Three D printing. Mm. Okay. Ah, wonder what's in the box. Probably the real woman. <laughs> Yeah, probably. And she's laying there, start naked and saying, oh, look, I'm going to fucking eat your heart. Suck all the bloods out. Topless. Because none of us wear clothes in antiquity. We haven't got any clothes. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to just fucking rip my own heart out and eat it. This is this is what he done to me. And rip, eat my own heart out. That's what she's saying. And then she's crying. Crying's weird. Why is crying salt water? Why do we cry? Some people don't cry. My mother never had tear ducts. She never cried. Don't know what that was. Probably narcissism. There's the devil. He's thinking, mm, fucking hell yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. This is how it went. This is what will happen if you look at bad pictures. Okay. Loads of nails will fly out of reality into your eyes. Okay. What's happening here? Look, I can make an apple float. Hmm. Can I make an apple float? Yes, but you have to bite into it first. See how she calms her? Oh, she's really good. I'm loving this. Pinhead. Pinhead. Yeah. Ah, mm. It was Pinhead. I will eat your soul. She's like, I use Imac on my arms. I have no underarm hair. Smell. I can smell my own armpits and they don't knock me out. Yeah, she definitely looks like she's got a girl bum. So we're going with that. Girl bum, brill. Okay. It's when they like got titties and they got a little boy bum going on. You're going to be like, well, I don't know what's going on. They are Greeks after all. This Theseus, we seen that earlier, didn't we? In that thing, he's holding up the Gorgon said. She was, a, she was looked like Elvis Presley. Girl, the Gorgon is Elvis Presley. Here, madam, let me fix your dress. Let me just cover the one breast, though. See the other one sticking out. Because there's a lot of men looking up by there. And you're some witches dancing around with some elderly ladies or some demons. Uh, and then they all get naked later and rub, rub their bits together. Okay. Here's the totem dance. I don't know, guys. I don't make this realm up. I'm just listening. I watch films. I've read Dennis Weekly. Okay. I've seen the, the film The Devils with... Um, Oliver Reed. I know the shit goes down. <laughs> okay. Here's the Gorgon in beautiful, beautiful green stone. Okay. Yeah, 
Yes. Happy happy vibes to you are. Oh, Medusa, yuck. Oh, it's, it's got bad press. Might have been all right, mate. Look at this painting. There's a lot of fuckery going on here. Look at the eyes on them. They look like humans, but they're not. They're robots. AI. AI. There's robot killers. Yeah. He's got a big tash on him. He's got a big moustache on him. Mr. Spliffy 2, Flatage. Yeah, no, we see bits of late. They don't have lady gardens in these pictures either. It's like, oh, he's fucking touching me. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's there. Look at there, the old hag magic there. It's like, give us a kiss. It's like one of those aunties that kisses you. You don't want to kiss you when you're little. That's my, that's obviously just my personal issues. Okay, Francis Goya, the Colossus. The giants are fucking off home. He's like, you lost suck. Honestly, I've had a guts full. Me, me, fucking me. That's all you ever do. Okay. And here's um, David and Goliath. I did loads of these in the sea years ago. See them all the time. Never. Oh, I'm just going to tickle myself with a feather. Tickle my feather with a feather. Isn't it nice weather? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, she's got nice material. Crawley embroidery. And now I want like Jimi Hendrix's jacket that you've seen earlier uh, with embroidery all over it. In like all psychedelic colours, flat of British. If anyone cares to make one in the future, I'd be happy. <laughs> Just tripping. You never know. People made me all sorts. I've had a board game, Mont Meru board game. I've had my own board game, guys. I've had my own everything in the uh, flat of British. I wonder what these do, these talks around the belly. And they're over the ovaries as well, aren't they? I don't know. Oh, what a looming life, eh? Oh, I'm being dramatic, but I am a female. I punched his face in with some barbed wire. Oh, did I say that aloud? Come with me, madam. This is um, that woman out of He-Man. Have you seen the bird in He-Man? She looks like this. She's definitely stung. She's definitely got all the good stuff going on. And gold. And she's um, lit up. She's like, oh, I'm going to give her flowers and then I'm going to cut her fucking head off with a scythe. <laughs> First, she's going to think good for us and then uh, it's going to be bad. Okay. <laughs> so here's another angel, an angel with a pair of jugs. Standing on people. Look at these lot. They're all in silk. Yeah, play that one again. What's it called? This one's called Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. Okay. Here you go again, you say. Why you breathe? He chopped off the gorgon's head and he's away on the Pegasus. Woohoo! Pegasus is going. Anyway. That was fun. Yay! Okay. That was good. A little bit of extra fun. 442 of you watching. Three hours I've been going. Woohoo! Priestess. Queen represented of the goddess. Yes, really good images. I got like a book. Um, I got like, oh, I can't wait to do my next post. Ooh. I got so much more to show. Bam, says Pat Pip. All right, let's just let's just run through and give you a few shouts. Is our lovely Pamela? Woohoo! Stu, so yeah, this is the alternative reality. The other reality is I managed to make it to uh, Houston, Texas, and I'm there right now. Um, but that's in the parallel reality. In this reality, I'm home in Cairo, flat of British flat of day 19. Wiggly, wiggly flat for me. Okay, whatever the man. Liddy, after midnight, you're gonna let it all hang out. A bit like them women did just now. After midnight. You can scream and shout. Pegasus and Medusa. Oh, yeah, man. I love. I used to love Greek mythology as a kid. One of my favourite films was Jason and the Argonaut. And I was always looking forward to, like, Clash of the Titans and that. They used to always have good films on Easter and Christmas because Easter was, like, the next biggest holiday. So they always used to put, like, The Wizard of Oz on or Bed Knobs and Broomsticks or, you know, fucking good films. 
Uh, tonight, this broadcast is for adults only. In my, um, it is in the um, analytics. I've set this for um, adults only. Yes. So, but it, it's it's classical art. You don't like um, cover people's eyes when you're walking around in a fucking museum, and there's just stack stackers every everywhere. So. <laughs> Uh, Squirrel Sniper and eBay labels and hit that like button everyone from Bernie's Crypto Alchemist. See, I get loads of people coming to me with emails, uh, Bernie, telling me that you're like two-faced as fuck and saying loads of shit behind my back and loving on me my channel. Okay. Okay. So I want better from you. I want better from you, Bernie. I want to feel proud of you, is what I want to do. I don't want you make you go upstairs to the kitchen and drink a cup and shut the fuck up. I don't do that stuff. Yeah. I, I'm, I think you should stop saying shit about me, is what I think. See, they all run to me, like literally loads of them, because I don't think they like you, <laughs> because they're grassing you up like fuck. So, happens all the time. So, they say. So. Oh, don't worry. It's all going to be good. So, Nancy Nature. And Maddie Ann, who I met. I met her in Bournemouth a couple of weeks ago. Who's very awesome. And Dij is in the house. Kronos, yes, indeed, JR. That was another personality that was present. And Isabel, what's happening, mate? What exactly, uh, what the witches would do with the wicked brew is truth. Italian Cyprus has been here for like last four hours. Thank you. Thank you for being here. So, but like, um, I don't, I don't seek evidence uh, that any of uh, dishings are true because I, I'd have to give a fuck. Is what I'm just saying. This is a mirror realm in this place and. There's consequences for everything you put out in there. I wouldn't do that shit. I wouldn't do it to me. That's one thing. I wouldn't do. It doesn't feel healthy. So, squiddle sniper. Ammo. Bummage. <gasps> Don't say bum. Okay. And Lippy. I was gonna, I was gonna say it's all gone, it's all gone quiet. It's all gone quiet because I'm on my own. <laughs> Can't you hear you? <laughs> oh, I was like, it's all gone quiet. Everyone stop talking. There's no one talking. You're only chat. Uh, oh, D'Angelo, walk on. See you, my bro. That's another bro of mine. Met a couple of times, and I loved so much of you. John Bailey Curve Buster. <laughs> okay. I don't think we need to do that anymore. That have been nine years uh, and it's still, where's the curve? Where's the curve? So, Martin Squirrel. Oh, 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 Squirrel Sniper Martin is shaking his little box and asking uh, what was inside correctly. Yeah, I do that. It was a little angel the last time. But yeah, we'll play that game again one day soon. I used to do psychic quizzes as well. They're quite good. You like my psychic quizzes. You're all really rubbish at it, by the way. But we're going to still play it. Uh, Martin, where you find all this? I search furiously on all my different sources. And the best source for images is me. Because uh, I've been saving millions over the years. So I look at my stuff to get. My images are from me. Ugh. I'm the best resource, basically. Ha, ha, ha. Just real people under that stone. It's Bob. It's you, my bro. Good to reflect on the mirror realm. Well, this place is, um, you know, and that's one thing I've learned at my age is what, you know, above all, be kind. <laughs> what I've learned. Otherwise, it don't work. Uh, something good. And beans and toast. And our lovely India. Okay, I'm going to have to actually go eat something shortly. Thank you, Truth Seeker. I shared your video today. 
um, Hibble Productions when I was hanging out with them the last time I was in Houston. Um, for the film that is upcoming out, I oh, forgot the date, man. It's May, I think it is. Um, all World Order. So there's uh, quite a few things come up and coming in the horizon that I'll fill you in with about in the near future. Um, but we have got some stuff coming up, uh, which is going to be really exciting for people right across the whole community, not just on Flat Earth British, but also other channels as well. You'll know about it soon. So Ian, Flav, Marianne, anybody who's in chat now wants to get a little shout on uh, Flat Earth British before I fuck off. Of Billy, thank you, my friend. 25th of May, uh, the old world order movie is out, and uh, it's the first proper Tatarian type movie of, it, of its type. Uh, so it's going to take it to a whole new audience. Uh, but it, it is a lot of people looking at this subject now. Uh, you only got to look on TikTok to see how many people are talking about balloons of Tataria or Antiquotech, etc. Um, Amfrax, good to see you. Martin, um, I've only been listening while tinkering. Uh, oh, fair enough. Uh, but we'll watch later. Oh, thank you. Damn good laugh. Oh, good. That's what we want to do. Have happy little faces. Send you all home happy. And um, we stuff to think about. And if somebody wants to go off, uh, thank you, uh, Wonderful Nature. And find uh, Flat Earth British, some photographs of the Palace of Westminster being built. That would be fucking awesome. Because uh, this is a replicating sort of uh, pattern, isn't it? All these really important buildings through antiquity. And we can't seem to get a photographic record of them being built, even though photographs have been around for a very long time. Something with that. Cindy, good to see you. Like they're there already. Terry, i seen you there then, my bro. Good to see you. Missy, Missy. Oh. Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, it's fucking stinking cold last week. I never get there. It's just changing the weather, though, in a environmental thing going on. Julie, good to see you. Matt and Marianne. Oh, you should be very proud of Martin. Oh, uh, 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 I don't know if pride is a sin. Oh, I feel proud of you. Oh, I love it when you all stay epic. I think, yeah, this is what it's at. Sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to disagree? And um, fish, I'm gonna fuck off into the night to my fridge to eat a paparabe. It's gonna scream. It's gonna go, no, don't eat me. And I go, yes, you little pot, quirky fucker. I'm going to eat you. Try spot. Cheers, uh, new new West reset. Thanks for being here and thanks for your work. 17 joy happiest resurrections yeah so happy easter and it's easter sunday tomorrow don't eat too many eggs and be sick little puppies because that will be your own fault don't steal your children's easter eggs and eat them either by your own okay or don't do any of that at all uh, 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 uh. yeah yeah it's super white we got a uh led sun because you know i like science stuff says, oh, yeah, well, you know, the the, the um, sun is a big hydrogen ball uh, and it's producing all of this fuel. Eventually, it's going to run out of fuel. It's going to go red dwarf and, you know, swallow the entire inner solar system. So it's not going to run out of hydrogen, but it's got batteries um, and they're running flat. Uh, so it's gone from sodium to LED. But good news is, is it charges back up again. And then with the new sun the new yellow sun consciousness rises to the occasion so it won't be all like oh this run really sucks man it's not always that fucking on me yo it's like yeah it is it's always on you it's a bit of a twat life but uh, i think that it's worth hanging around for because basically well, we got this this is this runs hands it always was. Powers with the people. It's just everyone's confused with stupid stuff. If they could just dump all the stupid stuff, get down to the nitty gritties of what it's all about, which is um, us, uh, brothers and sisters, and our families, and looking after one another. Well, we got all crazies uh, ruling us. Ah. Yeah, I think that's right, Mary. 
Teddy Davis, good to see you. And Joy, I said that in a really Welsh accent. Christine T, good to see you. Zania, <coughs> woohoo! For, <coughs> see, I've still got a bad choice. Pamela, and Martin, Lara. I got a cover, cousin called Lara, and I'm called Martin. That's two of my family members in one name. Love wins. Easy. It's not even a competition. It's like you got two people, right? And one of them's really pissed off. Nobody loves him. He sucked off. He's like, Ugh, I hate my life. And you're another guy, and he's got loads of love in his life, and he's happy and bubbling. Which one's got it down? No shit. Happy bubble up. Happy bubble up. Always win. Even if you ain't a happy bubble up, fucking lie to yourself. Tears of a clown. Yeah? The fucking construct, don't even recognize it. If you just lie to yourself, even if it's not. And then you get better around. Annie D, tune in to electrify your garden. Indeed, stick some copper wire into your into your earth. Make some little springs like them ones and then urines. Um, looking sounding great. Thank you, Lisa. I'm thinking well and I've had a little bit of a cold thing going on, but I'm going <clears throat> a lot better than I was last flat day. In fact, I was down on my ass at the end of the vlog last flat day. Fry spawn, lovely, jubbly. Okay. And the last comment of the day, peace frog. Who was one of the first as well. Okay. Summer's coming. I'm going to have a good suntan. I, I don't know what to do about my hair. It's all growing in my eyes. So I'll have to make a decision. I think I'll just grow away. What do you think? Uh, I I don't like decision making. <clears throat> anyway, stay flat yourself. I bug man. Something, bro. Stay flat yourself, manny. Like there's any other way to be. Okay. Okay, double flat weekly firms. And I'll see you all in the week. We've got loads more content. It's just grow your grow your hair long like I was. All right, Clementine. I might, I might do that. I'm a Libra, and yeah, I'm a, I'm a proper Libra as well. Yeah, you know, like I require balance. Otherwise, you know, got tits up. Valerie, um, the hairdressers could be styling now, nah, man. I go to these Maltese boys. They, they like man's barbers. I can't be having all that tatting around barber stuff going on. Can't, I can't fucking do that. Diggy. It's bad enough. I've got to sit in there and fucking be trimmed and that with people like Barbara and that. I'm like, I fucking don't like that either. But going into like an hairdresser's, oh fuck no. Smell of fucking hairspray. <laughs> no. No. Just it's fucking not me. Thanks, Mo. Thanks, everybody. And yeah, uh, like if like if you did like this video, all of the good YouTube's things, donate. For future productions would be absolutely awesome and definitely share this video for i think it was shareable yeah it was definitely shareable there's nothing really bad in it okay let it grow let it grow speaking words of wisdom let it grow okay i'll do that peaceful okay let all hang out yeah mike tyson's gone flat i reckon he's a big fan of mine i reckon mike's gonna come over I want Mike Tyson to be on fat of British. Really, really, really do. Spread the word. Tell him Martin Fleekers fucking loves you, Iron Mike. Okay? Since he wants to talk to B.B. Lee. Good to see you. There's a good chance. Okay, miss. I'll talk to him. You might want my autograph. Missy. Marianne. I'm buying your book on the lever. Oh, oh. oh, I make sure to sign it for you, and then I see you next. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you. Ooh, John Wick. Uh, what brand am I smoking? Um, American Spirit. Oh, and it's not American Spirit in there because it's too fucking expensive. And I, I might have to switch to cigarettes or something. This tobacco is fucking too expensive. I think it's um, John Players. It's all fucking rank anyway. 
27 roses. Years ago, I'd be like, oh, I'm never going to smoke rollies. And I'll go fucking smoke rollies because 10 cigarettes have disappeared. 27. Fucked everything up. Mad. Okay, excellent show. Oh, I'm glad you approve. And thank you, Dean. Aloha, my brother. Never know. Might come over to Colorado at some time. I hope. Uh, Pablo is okay. Right. How much for a UK pack? Uh, it's like $20 for tobacco, 30 grams, uh, $25, say cheap. And there's something wrong with it anyway. It's all fucking added water, it's dry, it's hurts your throat, it's shit, shit tobacco, all of it. <laughs> Turtle Island roll, tobacco cure, oh, there's nice alpha, Billy. I, I like the... Um, American spirit, if I can get hold of it. Pablo's lovely too. Uh, it's less uh, toxins. There's not much you can do about that. If you decide to smoke, you've got to fucking just go for it. I, mean, I, 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 I'm cutting right down. No, I ain't smoking nowhere near as much as I used to. Tobacco's just too much. <clears throat> too, too, my chest is so. It's the tobacco. Shit. Anyway, peace and love to you all. Wiggly Flat Firms have an awesome Easter. Awesome. Uh, they've invented an Easter Monday now or something. That's new. They didn't used to do that shit years ago. Uh, they used to call it Bank Holiday Monday. So it's Easter Monday now. Fucking whatever. Um, next year, they might have Easter when it's hot. That would be nice. We can actually go out and do Easter things, but never mind. Anyway, cigarettes are paper shredded and dipped in nicotine really badly. They are. And I die. Fucking like them. It's horrible. Anyway, whatever. I missed again. Oh, 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 says Free Soul Hippie. Anyway, I gotta go, guys. I'm running out of steam. Three hours, 378 of you. Much love. Happy Easter. And I'll see you on the next one. This has been a Flat Earth British production. No animals or humans were hurt in the making of this content. <laughs> see you later.